Okay. This has been out for ages. And I figured, eh, why not do it as well? <clears throat> also, yes, n no camera. Because I need to figure out what I'm doing with that. Look, Gamma! Finally, we have found one. Oh! A young wizard. A student with amazing potential. Enough, perhaps, to save Wizard City. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> Where? Oh, a very, very distant realm. Oh, my goodness. On a world that does not even believe in magic. Stop for full breaking, for one. I wonder what manner of wizard they might become. Perhaps we should consult the Book of Secrets. Headmaster Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Oh, how did I all of a sudden get there? For one, if it only just found me. Answer these questions to find out what type of wizard you are. Uh, uh, okay. Well, you only got other characters. And, um, yes, I have other characters. Um, like. <laughs> Oh dear. None? Definitely night. Uh, I'm terrible at leading, so. <laughs> well, technically, my favourite animal is a wolf, but that isn't on here, which sucks ass. On a death. Death wizards, also known as necromancers, manipulate the power of the undead. They specialize in their health drains, spells that damage their opponent, and heal themselves at the same time. Because of the drain spells, death wizards can easily thrive when venturing off on their own. But now that we know what you are, what do you look like? Really? These are my... Well, this game is old. So. Okay. Um. Hmm. No. No. Definitely not. Maybe. No. No. Uh, no. 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 Ew. No. Maybe. No. No. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. Definitely black. Ooh, eyes. Yes. No. No, because it's on my voice only and background noise is turned off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Paranoid mother. <laughs> like a galaxy oh that's cool oh hmm i like that that's cool all right where's a normal mouth <laughs> I don't know. 
Um. That. Um. I am pasty. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Freckles, look how cute. Ooh, glasses. I mean, yes, no. Yes, no. Mm. I mean, glasses. Mm, I'm gonna snooze. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, uh, black and grey theme. For now. Okay. Perfect. Remember, if you ever wish to alter your appearance in the mm. future, simply pay a visit to the Magic Mirror Shop in the shopping district. All right, then. What is your name? Ooh, okay. Hmm. Wait. Aw. Okay. Um... Brittany, no. Um, no, no. 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 Oh, what is that camera? <laughs> but it's a gem mob of a deer. God. Right. Um. Name. Um. Uh. Yeah, fuck it. Ooh, Mazakin. Mm. <laughs> Technically, wait. Is Raven a name? Really? Raven isn't a name? Are you shitting me? That's just so rude. Oh god, now I gotta try and fucking find and remember them in my head. Fuck it. <laughs> Lunasaur. Yeah, ignore these. These are my other characters that I have in private gameplay. And then just for eh, let's just... Record. Well, hello. If it isn't our newest student. My name is Merle Ambrose. I am the headmaster of the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. We're expecting great things from you. But first things first. To move around, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Try it now. My owl friend would like to speak with you. Walk up to Gamma and follow his instructions to talk. For fuck's sake. Wow. Hello! My name is Gamma the Owl, and I am quite pleased to meet you. 
Cool. Wizards test their skills by summoning fantastic creatures and dueling. To become a master wizard, you must learn every spell in your class. Fascinating. Wizards love to duel. The more spells you learn, the better a duelist you'll become. Yeah, but it's also about fucking skill. How much skill you have in actually strategizing. Ah, shit. How odd. Hmm. Come along, young wizard. Let's investigate the matter. Meet me in the tower. Oh, yeah, You'd sure. You'd best follow the headmaster. You're safe with him. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's be safe in the to place... To the tower! Let's be safe in the place where we've just saw some fucker just fly by the window. Sure. That's That seems totally safe. <laughs> Whee! Who's there? <sighs> Melister. Ambrose. <laughs> you are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? <laughs> You're not here, but why are you here? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. Is this your latest student? My henchman will see to your little friend. Ah, oh, yeah. Typical... Classic villainy. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spell cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malister himself. Ah, yeah, sure, okay. Don't be so sure of yourself, old man. You're not so young yourself. Run up and confront them. Be brave. I will guide you. You've drawn these spells oh. from your deck. <laughs> Quickly, you must choose a spell and use it to attack one of Malastair's henchmen by clicking on him. I remember why I always skipped the tutorial after the first time, because it's so stupid. But for story-wise, I am doing it. Because why not? Oh my, you're hurt. No shit. You'll need to pay attention to your current health. This red crystal ball oh. shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. Killed. <laughs> you'll be killed. The blue crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. Uh-huh. Well, mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. See, in reality, if this happened, they'd fucking take their chance and kill you while he's fucking yapping in the corner. When you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy. Why so distracted? We're under attack. Oh, my. Call me a fool. I had all but forgotten. And he's our headmaster, and I was supposed to be safer with him? Yeah, no. Where were we, then? Oh, right. Attack his henchman again. In reality, we'd be fucking dead by now. About three times over he's dead. Someone just, like, blew bubbles into their fucking milkshake to record that sound bite. Fool! Your student is no match for my forces. Oh no, you're in trouble. Quickly, use the unicorn spill and cast it on yourself. It will replenish your health. Okay. No. That does not do 85 damage in reality, good god.
Foolish creatures! You've let the young whelp heal! Defeat the whelp or you'll suffer for it! Use your spells to weaken the young wizard's spells! Cool. Love the tutorial that's going on in this. Here, young wizard. Take some more pips. They power your spells. The more pips you have, the stronger the spells you can cast. Okay. Quickly now. Pick another spell and cast it at one of them. Oh, why didn't I just scare? Oh my, that spell reduced the power of your own spell. Uh huh. They gather that. Stupid story purpose. I want to skip the tutorial, but I want this. Story plus. At last, you fools That's earn your keep. Point now, of doing this. finish the child. <laughs> Cast this balance blade spell on yourself. It will. It will cut you off from speaking. <laughs> Again, that would kill me if it had it. If it had it out here. If it had it if it had his actual strength. Thank god I what the fuck is wrong with me. <laughs> Cannot speak today. <clears throat> this one learns fast, Malistair. Two can play at that game. I've got it. Use this meteor strike spell. It will strike both of the henchmen. Here are the pips to cast it with. Why didn't you just do that to fucking With a balance blade with? spell, you... Why didn't you just do that to begin with? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you. Dead. I've not got my camera on because I need to better figure out what the hell I'm doing with my camera and I'm not really camera presentable, if that makes sense. Oh, excellent work, young wizard. Now, let me see to Malister. I'll show him threatening a new student before orientation, no less. Uh-huh, and your other beef you have with him. Another time, old man. I have what I came for. And now I'll take my leave of this wretched place. He's oh. gone, and none too soon. What sinister goal brought him here? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Oh, my. You look a bit the what worse for wear. Hmm. Here, let me restore oh. you to your full health and manner. On the bright side, congratulations. Defeating Malastair's henchmen has earned you some experience. On the bright side, you're still alive. This experience bar oh will God. help you track your progress. Uh-huh. When the bar fills oh, up, Christ. you'll gain a level and be able to learn new spells. I know. Now, do you have any questions, young wizard? What's that? You don't know how to speak. No, I'm um, born My mute, apparently. Pardon. Well then, let me teach you how to use menu chat, and we'll see what you have to say for yourself. Oh, fuck's This sake. is the menu chat button. Click on it to say something. Hi. Ah, you have the way of it. Now <laughs> you can chat with anyone you meet and make lots of friends here. Nah. You can also <laughs> hit enter and type your own messages using text chat. But players under 13 will first need their parents' permission. Sad. <laughs> You'll also need a spellbook and a wand. There you go. No young wizard should ever be without them. Thanks. I needed that. <laughs> I should say, young wizard, that I was quite impressed with your courage. And there's little doubt, but that a great destiny awaits you. Well, who knows? Maybe you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster someday. 
Cool. But now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mountain of duties to attend to right now, including readying your enrollment. Then why am I here if I'm not enrolled already? So if you don't mind waiting for a moment or two, I'll pop back to my office and straighten up. <coughs> Pardon. I'll summon you when things are presentable. Ah, oh, so many books and papers to tidy up. Uh, where did I put those forms? See you soon. <laughs> The classic old man. Well, the stereotypical old man. I can't... Oh, okay. Well... Oh. <laughs> that was quick. Hey, there we go. Now we're in the game. Welcome to Ravenwood Academy, young wizard. <laughs> and normally, this is where you'd be enrolled and sent to your classes. Cool. But times are not normal. There's some kind of supernatural incursion in Unicorn Way that must be dealt with immediately. Oh, is I there? wonder. <sighs> You've demonstrated such potential. I think practical experience will serve you better than lectures. Care to put your talents to the test? Care to put yourself in danger? Splendid. Time is of the essence, so I'll teleport you there directly. Seek out Private Connolly, the wizard city guard in charge of that area. Poof. Had him gone. Welcome to Unicorn Way. There are creatures here who will attack you if you get too close to them, so stick to the task at hand. Oh. Whoa, 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 young student. The street's very dangerous right now. Is there very something dangerous. I can help you with? Wizard, do you see the symbol above Private Connolly's head? Oh, that means God. he has something important to tell you. Go speak with him. Yes, I've gathered that. What's that? You say the headmaster sent you to help us? Well then, you're just the person, oh, wizard, I've been waiting for. <laughs> A minute ago, you were saying it was too dangerous. This used to be a pleasant street, but we've been invaded by hordes of strange creatures. The guards and I have been doing our best to push the creatures back, but we're no match for their dark magic, especially the undead. Wow, the undead? That's my specialty. <gasps> Maybe your fancy wizard magic will do the trick. Go battle Maybe a few of those lost souls, magic. then report back to me. Good luck. To battle the monsters, run up to them on the street. When you get close enough to them, they will summon a combat sigil, and you will be pulled into combat. If you want to avoid battle, you can keep safe by staying on the sidewalk. If you can drive away some of these lost souls, we'll be in your debt. Cool. Right, let's get this over with. So we can actually continue and progress forward. I mean, bitch. Oh, I walked right through you. Thank you. Christ. Okie dokie. So now we're getting into the playing of it. But is this the whole area to begin with is like the tutorial area? No, badge discovered. I'm dead stalker. Boink. There we go. Yeah. When it gets a little bit later on. That was the sentence. I'll probably put Beaten my camera. I am a student wizard. Oh. Come, souls. Let's get lost somewhere safer. While your character is transparent, you are safe from combat, but it only lasts for a short time. Get to the sidewalk before it wears off. Wow. I'd say something very obvious. Yeah, later I'll probably put my camera on and like stick it in this corner. 
That stirred the tide. We'll follow your lead and start pushing these ghostly things back. Because that's the only place where I could put it. That I know of is up in this corner. Because I don't need these. But I'm worried we won't be able to drive the phantoms away for good without knowing why they're attacking us. Okay. We've got to find out what's behind this. Another intrepid student, Siri Nightchan, also came to help. Maybe he's learned something useful. Cool. Oh, hey there. I'm Sarah. You're new here, aren't you? Well, I for one am very glad you're here. Oh, are you? I couldn't help but notice how you took down those lost souls. I have to say, I'm quite impressed by your spell slinging skills. When I heard there was trouble on Unicorn Way, I rushed right over. But then I saw what's out there. Skeletal pirates. Skeletons I can handle, but skeletal pirates? Pah! Yar! No, thank you! Pirates give me the heebie-jeebies! <laughs> And what was that interpretation? Gwa. <laughs> no. Excuse me, did I hear you two talking about skeletal pirates? If you're going to face them, please come talk to me first. Ah yes, because that is not obvious of a side quest. It would be good to know exactly what we're up against. Do you think you could battle a few skeletal pirates to see how tough they are? What are you two, Percy? Great! I'll mark their location on your map. Thank you so much for doing this. Good luck! Ooh, press M to access your map. Oh. You'll notice several points of interest, including the locations of enemies. Because you'll be engaging in combat, it's imperative you know how to regain health and mana. I already know. If you need to boost your health, collect the red wisps you see along the street. Yeah. Ooh, if you need mana, collect blue Ooh. wisps. Remember, casting spells costs mana, and fleeing combat drains it completely. So go battle a few of the skeletal pirates on Unicorn Way. The guards will appreciate a report on their combat tactics. Uh huh. I'm glad I overheard you two wizards talk about those pesky skeletal pirates. They're looting the street and making such a mess. Well, they are fucking pirates, love. If something isn't done, we could be forced to leave the city. Please, will you help us? Olivia is offering you a side quest. Once you accept it, press Q to open your quest log. Quests marked with stars are part of the main story. Side quests are optional, but allow you to gain additional rewards. Good hunting. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Enough of that bit. Hang on, I'm gonna... piss around with the settings real quick. Uh Fire to Culls. Dual effect. Classic mode, I'm not touching that. Music. Sound. There we go. Actually. Hang on. <laughs> Do that. And that. Okay. Maybe that a little bit. There we go. Right. Hang on. <laughs> Let me just sound check. Yeah. That seems about right. Anyway. Um. Oh, where's my mouse gone? There. All right. Gameplay. Portal tips. Combat. Map menu. Quest helper. Uh, dungeon warning, challenge warning, quest binder, add spells to favorites. Uh, friend chat, medium. Be dense. Alright. Okay, right. Ah, my headphones are falling off. Uh. Oh. I didn't want to do that. Okay. All right. Come here, bitch. <laughs> da -da 
Well, at least I can get to. If I don't mark out, well, <laughs> never mind. I one shot it. There we go. Stop running towards me! This is sometimes helpful but also very annoying. to be sure, but ye be no match for that which rattles in the darkness. <laughs> Parley! Right, so it says Nobia Snackromancer. That is a badge. She says. <laughs> I not Yes, well, yeah, there it is, there we go. Necromancer, or no title. And it displays underneath. Oh, fuck, what did I do? God. Fuck. I pressed the wrong button. Yes, you can see that this game is still very much in use despite how old it is and it's actually a good game i haven't actually finished the entire game um but i know some i know most Right, talk to this bitch first. Oh, bless you, child. I don't have much to offer in thanks. But please, take this magic ring. Maybe it'll help you in your adventures. To put on new equipment, press B to open your backpack. You will see I can't mousing a- Yeah. Thanks again, young wizard. Maybe I can find another helpful young wizard to help sweep up all these eye patches. Right, there we go. Oh, wow! You made it back! I mean, uh, how'd it go? What did you learn? <laughs> wow, fuck you. You weren't gonna do anything. The pirates about it. warned about a rattle in the darkness? See, this is what I was talking about. Pirates are always creepy and frustratingly vague. <laughs> Frustratingly bad. What is clear is that some evil magic has emerged here, and we're going to need more than a handful of guards to stop it. Yeah, because guards don't use magic. There is a powerful, ancient being who may be able to help us understand the dark forces we're facing, the wise seraph Lady Aurel. Cool. Not only does Lady Ariel possess strong magic, she's also the Warden of the Fairies, and they keep her well informed. Perhaps she's heard something about this rattle in the darkness. Go speak with her in the hedge maze at the far end of Unicorn Way. At the far end? Alright. Alright. Now it's time to run all the way there. Because this bitch is all the way at the end, obviously. You got it implied. Man, I love. <laughs> I 
Alright, we're being carried by a goblin. What the hell are you doing? What's wrong with your Pathfinder? That is not how your Pathfinder works, bitch. You're not supposed to be on the path. Ooh. I'm just gonna grab this, because this will be useful. Oh god, now what? Alright. Halt! What purpose brings you into our hedge maze? Forgive me, young wizard. These dark times make me leery of new faces. But now I see the light within you. We've much to discuss. Uh-huh. Oh look, another necromancer. <laughs> The evil forces that loosed the undead upon Unicorn Way have also corrupted my precious fairies. Please, you must help them. I guess. Vile bone cages have appeared along Hello. Unicorn Way. They are filled with a mysterious dark magic that corrupts all fairy folk who venture near them. Hello, how are you? Am I new to streaming? Yes, to the game? No. <laughs> Dispel the dark magic in the bone cages, then bring me fairy dust from those it corrupted. It may reveal to me who is behind this atrocity. Yeah, like what fucking 13 year old is gonna know what atrocity means? It pains me to say it, but the only way to obtain the fairy dust is to wrestle it from the dark fairies in combat. Try to be gentle. <laughs> wrestle it? You mean fucking kill Once them? Once you've dispelled the bone cages and collected the fairy dust, return to me immediately. Good luck, young wizard. May the light guide you. Yes, and to answer your question... Yes, I'm new to Twitch. Kind of. New to streaming on Twitch. I've also got a YouTube where I put what I've done on there. Um, but new to the game? No. I'm just doing a, um, a playthrough. That's the word I was looking for. Right, what was I doing? I'm asking because I'm wanting help. New wizards. Wanting to help new wizards because I'm afraid. <laughs> Boredom is fantastic. Yeah, being bored doesn't really. Wait. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. That is brilliant. I love losing my train of thought. Ah, shit. Uh, my highest level is 23. That is my highest level. Yeah, 23. Yeah. A 23 level, um, Fucking Fergus. <laughs> What's your highest level? I've... But it's like in the hundreds, isn't it? <laughs> oh, lucky. I mean, the furthest I've got is that... Oh, fuck, what's it called? I've done Grizzleheim. Um, oh my god, what's it called? The one where you're at a school 
and there's like pigs. Sorry, that that's sounding. God, what is it called? That isn't gonna help me. Looking at my map is not gonna help me. I honestly cannot remember what that third world is called after you've done Crocotopia. I think it's Mushu. Cause like, it's like a, a school for like a different type of magic. And you got to compete with other schools and in... Yeah, I've done Marley Vine. Um But it's where you're getting Well you have to compete against other schools and you got this ring to symbolise your school and your dual other schools. What the fuck is it called? Oh, if I could feel the darkness down in my bones! But now that terrible cloud has been lifted! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh my god. I'm gonna plan on doing this for as long as physically possible. <laughs> You hear a tiny, joyful voice call your name. Thank you for helping us, kind wizard. Your courage and benevolence will not soon be forgotten by the fairy folk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've cemented your reputation as a hero to the fairy folk, young wizard. With the bone cages dispelled, I can help the other corrupted fairies in time. Now we must root out who is behind this attack. Please, let me examine the fairy dust. Oh my god, can you speak is that? faster? But how? Oriel. The fairy dust displays scars of a dark magic vanished from this world long ago. Could it be? Rattle in the darkness? Just stop. Just... Rattle bones. Thank you. In life, oh a God. ruthless tyrant who was banished to the underworld for his crimes. If I focus, perhaps I can sense his location. Oh, so much darkness. No, my vision is obscured. All I see is a tower ringed in bones. Siren Nightchant knows Unicorn Way. Perhaps he can help. If you want to help level up, but you need to go hide in your room before your mom nurses you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you must hurry. Here, take this broom. It will allow you to travel to Siren much faster. Now Sorry. fly, and may the light guide you. You've received. Yeah, yeah. God. <laughs> All right. Yes, I know. I a timer. I don't care. I'm going the wrong way. For the most part, I know what I'm doing. But yeah, for the most part, I know what I'm doing. Anything after Marleybone, then I'm just like, well, okay. <laughs> New territory. So I keep forgetting to come back to this game. But I'm just gonna do a playthrough of it. For shits and giggles. It's, you know. Whee. Hello! You were gone for so long, I was beginning to worry you'd run off and joined a skeletal pirate crew. Mm. But what did Lady Oriel have to say? Really? At first you think I'm dead, and now you think I've joined the fucking pirates. Oriel thinks an underworld tyrant named Rattlebones is behind all this? Wicked. Let me think. He's in a tower ringed in bones. Oh my god. Well, 
the skeletal pirates do seem to be concentrated around the old archives. Try looking there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. They do have a long way about going through saying shit, don't they? Um, thank you. <laughs> Load for me. Good work, my thrall. This could be the tome Bannister seeks. Now we... Uh, what's this? <laughs> He's a so wizard. Excellent. I could use a combat break. Let's play. <laughs> oh, you didn't say let's parlor? That's so disappointing for you. Finish you off. Bah. No, oh, you fizzled. Okie dokie. I thought that was gonna fizzle. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, the day is yours, young one. But the Dark Master's plan is already in motion. You haven't heard the last rattle in the darkness. <laughs> in his haste to leave, Rattlebones dropped the tome he was holding. It could be important. Perhaps Saren will know what should be done with it. God. As you walk back onto Unicorn Way, you can't help but notice that the dark magic that was previously choking the street seems to have abated. Uh-huh. Alright. Hmm. So, we're gonna talk to Darren. You did it, didn't you? You beat Rattlebones! The darkness plaguing Unicorn Way is lifting! Look! With Rattlebones defeated, the guards should be able to drive away the rest of the undead horde. Uh -huh. Ooh, that tome looks important. You should take it to the library in the commons. Harold Argleston will know what to do with it. Oh. Uh... Yes. Right, let's... I sent Private Orion do down the street a while first. ago, and he's not back yet. With all these lost souls about, I fear the worst. Orion's a good friend of mine. Could you go see if he's all right? He may be hiding in one of their houses. See if you can find him. It may be hiding. There's a ghost spent. Boom. Oh. Alright, another one. Right. Do this first. I'm gonna do everything possible. All side quests, everything. Get back on Dead Fiend! Oh. A student, is it? You're a brave one. Connolly sent you to check up on me? I'm well, but I did have a bit of a scare. Oh, did you? I was making my rounds when a horrifying ghost swept out of nowhere. I recognized her from the old stories. Lady Blackhope, the Wailing Widow. 
The Wailing Widow. I'm not ashamed to say she scared me half to death. I hightailed it here and shut the door. I can't leave this place if she's still out there. Nip, 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 baby. Black Oak Tower's not far away. That must be where she came from. Maybe something in there can drive her spirit away. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> I'm just completing everything in, um, here. You say the city guards are scared of me? Well, they should be. Everyone should be. Malister has opened the seals. The dead rise. Let all who still live beware. My dark master will be avenged. Aha. Uh -huh. You want me to stop haunting this street? <laughs> Let's see if you have enough spirit to stop me. Oh dear. Right. Let's get rid of you first. Thanks for the follow, by the way. I don't want to interrupt the dialogue. I said you will kill him completely when you reach dragons. What? Ooh! Spoilers! <laughs> <laughs> You're good. I'd prob I'll probably forget that tomorrow or later on anyway. <laughs> As the day goes on, I'll probably forget it again. My memory is terrible. Oh, sorry, I smacked the microphone. Open. Drink. Eh. Right. Finish my breath and see you later. All right, right. <laughs> so I'm reading a message from my mate. At the same time, he's doing this. And when you kill him, in time is fine. Catch. Fully dead. All right. So, is he still doing this because of his wife? Because that's what it makes it out to be. Because he lost his shit I after his wife died. You have enough spirit after all. Go tell the guardsmen I will haunt them no longer. Hey, it is about his wife. <laughs> right. Whee. Hang on, I'm just gonna quickly. Add some permanent mounts to my wish list. Right. Uh, hmm. Definitely the carpet. Definitely that. Definitely bat wings. Adding adding that, definitely. Look at it. And that, because why not? Ooh. Look at you. I'm just adding a bunch of permanent mounts to my wish list, because why not? Ooh. Oh yes. Look at you! Look at how cute! Oh, 
Oh, They need to make a different currency. Oh. <laughs> well, oh, I need to stop smacking my fucking microphone. If you want to know what realm I'm in, where is it there? I'm here. <laughs> in the realm. So. You defeated Lady Black Hope? Thanks, Wizard. I'll return to my post now. Uh, as a favor, please don't tell Private Connolly what happened. Uh huh. What, that you're a big scaredy pants of a ghost? I don't want him to think I'll flee from the first ghost that chases me. I only run from the really scary ones. Oh, yeah, sure. Right. Now, let's get back and then do the Dorothy and then continue with the main quest. It's gonna take a little while for me to get all the way to me. Ah, I fun. see you found Orion. I suppose some monster scared him out of his wits and he was too frightened to come back. <laughs> Because I'm in where I'm going. Because I'm all the way underwater in light shot. Oh, you're fine. Well, well, see, what had happened was. <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> Wait a bit, dip, dip. Well, it's not the first time. And <laughs> I wager it won't be the last. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Thanks for finding a wizard. How did he even become... You're not gonna give me the Dorothy? You're not gonna give me the Dorothy quest? Alright. Okay. Guess I'm not finding Dorothy then. Yeah, you're fine. Um, I'm just gonna do everything as physically possible, side qu or side quests, or main quests, because um, I want to show everything in the game. I'm going the wrong way. <sighs> oh. Did I put... I don't do I do story only. That's fair. To be honest, I do story only normally, but because I'm streaming and going to continue streaming, um, I'm gonna show everything that's possible. Well, hello there. I don't think I've seen you in the library before. I'm Harold Argleston, Master Librarian Extraordinaire. You say you recover this tome from an underworld tyrant who is going to give it to his dark master, Malastair? Is she look oh, doing well? Oh, thank you. My, my, I, I, I do believe this is a matter for Headmaster Ambrose. You should take the tome to him at once. Uh, but before you go, <laughs> allow me to reward you for your heroics. Please, accept this treasure card on behalf of the denizens of Wizard City. Treasure cards are special, one-use spells of various schools. You can purchase treasure cards from vendors, or craft them yourself. Press P to open your spell deck. Treasure cards are listed under a special tab, and are placed into the sideboard of your deck. During combat, right-click a regular <sighs> card to discard it, then select Draw. To bring out a treasure card from your... Remember, yeah. unlike yeah. regular spell cards, treasure cards can only be used once. So, use them wisely. I gathered that, bitch. <laughs> right. Jesus. It's 316. Good God. There you are, hello. 
Oh, good. You're back. I'm anxious to hear your update on Unicorn Way. Evil darkness summoned from the underworld? Oh, my. <clears throat> Rattlebones, you say? But he was banished centuries ago. How could... He... Oh, malice there. Of course. But why? Rattlebones was searching the Unicorn Way archive Hang on. for this <laughs> tome. Well, let me see what it is. On the trail of the Order oh, of the, the Fang. Oh, my stars. I will certainly look into this. While I do that, you need to attend to the matter of your long-delayed enrollment. If you are to truly oh God, master your talking, magical talking, talents, Ambrose. we must induct you officially into our academy. I'll talking. send you now to Mr. Lincoln, our registrar in Ravenwood. He will introduce you to our professors and help you begin your studies. From time to time, many... Yeah. Alright. That thing. God. Fuck. There it is. Right. Fine. There you go. Right. Alright, let's get this bit over with. You must be the new student I've heard so much about. You made quite a name for yourself on Unicorn Way. Did you just feather teleport? <laughs> I'm Mr. Lincoln, and I just have some quick paperwork to get you enrolled. Signature here, initials there, and a lock of hair here. Are you allergic to unicorns or eyes of newt? Good. That takes care of that. To complete your enrollment, come meet your professors. Welcome! I am the professor of the ice school, where we teach thaumaturges to endure like permafrost, withstanding all attacks. While in the storm school, we instruct young diviners to strike hard, fast as lightning, defeat the enemy before they know what hit them. Cool. We pyromancers of the fire school prefer to carefully fan the flames. Utilizing damage over time spells, we slow burn our enemies to cinders. Commanding the elements is indeed impressive, but theurgists of the life school seek harmony with nature, which gives us the power to heal others. Sorcerers also seek harmony. Symmetry right with his back to us. Balances he unique he's so magic from Crocotopia, special. which supports and enhances the other schools. Fireballs and flowers. Freshman magic that. All wizards summon monsters to fight for us, but only the best conjurers dare study the ways of myth. Yeah. You're still an asshole. And I'm Malone. Not, um, exactly a professor. <laughs> we haven't had a real deaf professor since the last one turned evil and destroyed the school, so, um... <clears throat> but I can get you started at being a necromancer. Our death spells drain health from enemies, damaging them and healing ourselves at the same time. <laughs> As the official... Interim teacher of deaf magic, I can get you started as a necromancer. Let's just get out of the way. <laughs> Let's just uh, fucking go. Because <laughs> someone seems a bit insecure. <laughs> Welcome to the crater where the deaf school used to be. Until Headmaster Ambrose finds a replacement for Malister, you can come to me to train. I can even teach you advanced death spells when you reach the right level of experience. Probably. 
I'll let you know when that is. For now, I've got one spell for you. Cool. Train it, then head back to Mr. Lincoln. You're already learning more. Some spells, like this one, take more than one pip to cast. To use it, pass a turn. Or cast a zero pip spell to build up your pip supply. Alright. Yeah, that's already there. Right. Let's go. Alright. You've met your professor. Great! You can train spells in your school for free, but to learn other school spells, you must spend training points. Here, I'll give you one now. Use it to start training a secondary school. And if you change your mind later, see me to buy back training points. Anyway, now that you're enrolled, you get your own dorm room to store I and this. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Noink. Just let me continue. <laughs> this broom sucks. They should have a different method of getting permanent mounts. You're officially enrolled now? <laughs> then let me formally welcome you with this new healing spell. Oh. Let me also introduce you to our resident advisor, Abby K. Doodle. She can tell you all about our many electives uh, when you have time. Nah. But on to more serious matters. It seems the troubles in Unicorn Way were but the tip of an evil iceberg. While you were gone, Chaos erupted all over the city. Undead run amok in the streets, and our former allies have turned against us. Hmm. Malastare must be behind this. Your victory on Unicorn Way makes you the perfect person to deal with this crisis. I foresaw you might save Wizard City. Now's your chance. Go to Old Town and talk to Sergeant Muldoon immediately. We must set things right and discover Malastare's goal in all this. Good luck. Yeah, okay. One last word before you embark on your quest. Oh, I've tried to answer most of the questions you'd have, but there is much more to tell you. If you haven't looked into your spell book yet, click on the book in the... No, click on the question. I don't oh, want to do that. Good luck, young wizard. Come to me. I'm just outside the dual arena on Unicorn Way. No, Diego. Oh, hello. Oh, you look cool. <laughs> right. Sergeant Muldoon. God. I am not awake enough for this. Oh, I just flipped into a wall. I don't want to do that. Here, T.I. Right. Oh, you have a Pegasus. That's so cute. <laughs> Beware. Beyond these gates, the city's gone mad. Way. You're the hero of Unicorn Way. The headmaster sent you to help. Thank goodness. We've got undead all over the place. Every cursed spirit and vile ghost we sealed away has broken free and attacked the city. Nowhere is safe. Huh? Now what? Oh, it's a pet. They're kind of like a wizard's familiar. They help out in all sorts of ways, from discovery to dueling. You really are bored, aren't you? But it shouldn't be in that tower. That's the caretaker's tower. Nobody's been in there since old Judd, the keeper of the cemetery, passed. Oh, right. Undead. Wizard, <laughs> go with the pet, work together, and find out what's happening in that tower. Well, you can continue doing what you're doing until I get to the point where I need help, if you like. <laughs> 
save you from following me around while I do this shit. <laughs> you now have a pet egg in your inventory. Once it hatches, you can equip the pet just as you would a wand and bring it into the tower. Let's go. No! I lost! I can't believe I... You other wizard! You hurry! You have to help! Persona. Yeah, you're fine. You shouldn't have come to this tower. No, shouldn't have done that. It's gonna shouldn't interfere done that. with things don't concern you. Like my plan to turn all pets into zombie pets. I You'll <laughs> see you will when it comes to pets. Sometimes un. Dead is better. If you have a pet equipped, it can help you in battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really need to change your name because Chancellor Meatball, no thank you. Right. Oh, wrong thing, that thing. Uh. Yeah, if you want, you can do your own thing until. I need help. <laughs> I have a pet, but it's not for my current class. What class are you? <laughs> the class you're in right now. Oh, you're a deaf too. I know, and I'm. But I threw the key to my pet kennel into the kennel itself, I did. You can't get through those bars, no how. What? That's terrible. We have to get into that kennel. But how? Huh? Oh, I'm Penny Dreadful. I'm new here. When I saw this zombie guy stealing the pets, I tried to stop him and... I guess I need more practice. You were great, though. But I don't suppose you have any shrinking spells to help us slip through those bars? Oh! Hello. What about your pet? It's pretty small. Can you command it to go? You are now commanding your pet, yeah, yeah, allowing yeah. you to get to places and see things wizards can't. Use this ability to enter the next room. Oh no, another, it's another rose. <laughs> Two roses. Brilliant. Well, this shouldn't get confusing. <laughs> oh, where the fuck am I going? Now that your pet has retrieved the key. Great! Now let's go save all those poor pets. It's okay, I'm missing her. Poor. <laughs> hey, everyone's bored. <laughs> I'm not that far. Ah, these cells have combination. I mean, make our only sensible option is to find some way to talk to these captive pets and get the combo. Yep, I saw that smelly guy put in the combo lots of times. It's zero 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 three. Wait, you're stuck? <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Keep doing the wrong thing. There we go. Uh huh. Don't worry, I'll make sure the pets get back to the pet pavilion in one piece. Check it out wow. sometime to learn all about pet training. High levels over here. In After chat. they're safe, I'll go to the headmaster's office and complete my enrollment. <laughs> Come find me when you get a chance. For right now, though, go tell the guard outside what's happened here. It's one of our new worlds. Ooh. Higher levels in chat here. <laughs> My highest is only level 23. Uh, 
Oh. You save the pets and a young student. Not bad. <laughs> but our work is yes. just beginning and I need all the help I can get. Everyone help each other. Speaking of which, your pet has gained enough experience with this talent. This talent costs a bit of your pet's happiness. I've got alarming reports from Cyclops Lane and Triton Avenue, and I haven't heard anything out of Firecat Alley. So, where do you want to start? Oh, God. Fine. Uh... Fuck it. Triton Avenue's been overrun by the undead. I don't have any guards left to try and deal with it either. You're not the first student to offer help. Two wizards named Griffinbane went in a little while ago. There should be a and there was pile another named three Grimmel. of us. That would be great. <laughs> but none of them have come out, and I've got no word. Can you help me try to find them? Good luck, and above all, be careful. I'm going to refill my potions and try and let them back. You go for it. I'm just going to fly through this basic shit on my shitty little broom. You there! Help! Look there, wizard! Do you oh see God. that device? Gamma, stop it! It's a teleporter! If you use it, it will transport you to other teleporters on the street. You I can get where you go. I'm lucky you came along. Something has broken the flow of storm magic through the street. Those towers should have arcs of lightning between them. This is bad. My sister Susie and I came to see if we could help get things back under control, but we got separated. The haunted minions drove me back. <laughs> I just imagine him being all dramatic. Can you create a diversion so I can try to break through, attack the minions, and I'll meet you by the river? Charge. Right, um... Oh, my hands are cold. Right. So, we have a level 45. What level are you, other rose? <laughs> One of you. Oh my god, thank you. Oh, where did my mouse go? There's my mouse. Right. Uh, fuck it. See if this one work if it doesn't go for Oh, it didn't. Good. <coughs> Usually when I plan stuff it fizzles. I'm still not awake yet, yeah, I've been up for hours.
we go. Now I can go down here. Whee! Right, Arthur. Thanks for the help, wizard. I wouldn't have gotten here without you. I'm worried something terrible has happened. On my way here, I saw one of the lightning eels with Susie's wand in its jaws. Yeah, which one of you is still here? <laughs> maybe she just dropped it, but maybe not. What can we do? I couldn't help but overhear. You're very loud. If you can bring me that wand, I may be able to assist. Really? How? Which one of you is still here with me in this chaos? Duncan Grimwater, Necromancer. I was drawn here by a massive surge of death magic. It must be the reason the undead have overrun the street. I wish Malastare were here. He could stop all this madness instantly. If only he were still alive. Oh, you're still with me. Yay, hello. <laughs> Malastare is alive? Impossible. I don't know what you saw, but you must be mistaken. Someone is trying to deceive you and Professor Ambrose. Malastare was a great man. The greatest necromancer of this age. Ambrose is responsible for what happened to him. If he hadn't... Can we talk about this later? My sister's lost out there. <laughs> You're right. Wizard, bring me that wand, and I think I can get to the bottom of this. You think, or is that your ego? I'm um, pressing the wrong button. Right, I might as well do this as well, because he wants eels. Greetings, wizard. Thank goodness you're here. The undead are making a mess of everything. But storm magic flows through Triton Avenue in a steady current. Or at least it did, until all this craziness started. Now the flow has been diverted. It's oh, wow. making the storm creatures that live in the river angry. Lightning eels have swarmed up from the depths and are slithering the muck. If they aren't driven away, oh their electrical <laughs> charge could unbalance things even more. Could Hello. you go drive some of them away? I love your character look. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know how delayed this is um, on the stream to the game, but... I want to go kill some eels. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> right. Eels, eels, eels. Oh, tiny punk though. God, I hate the broom. Wee. Right. Time to kill some eels. Oh. <laughs> like. Damn, look at your health. Oh, Look at your pet. That is so cute. Don't worry, I can kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Right. Hang on. What am I doing? I don't know. Fuck it, I'll hit that one. <laughs> Shit, never mind. <laughs> Banshee. Oh, I've got an itch so bad. Right. Also, I I was playing this yesterday, and I found that there's now guilds. How the hell do you join a guild? Because I know you have to be level 160 to create one, and have 11 people willing to join it. But how do you join guilds? That is not an option. Good God. Right. Thank you. Where am I going? Duncan. Duncan. Right. Actually, wait. Hang on. Wrong button. 
Uh, yeah. I was gonna say, um, you could whisper. Excellent. Susie is still alive. If you wanted. I can sense it from her wand. I think I can find her, chat. but there's one more thing I need. I know a ritual that could grant me a vision of wherever Thank Susie you. is. Oh. It's very advanced. I'm not surprised you'll know it. Stop stroking your own ego. The connection between Susie and her wand is one anchor for the ritual, but I need another, and I think I know what will work. When I was trying to reach the source of the death magic, I ran afoul of the rotting fodder across the river. They're using storm magic. That doesn't make any sense. Why are they using storm magic instead of death? <laughs> they were wearing strange amulets that were crackling with storm energy. Bring me those amulets and I can cast my spell. Uh-huh. Right. Fly on my shitty broom. I hate this. The broom is so stereotypical and boring. Right, let's just fly at the nearest one. Right. Let's stick a trap on you. I put a spell on you. Excuse me. Right. Fuck. All right. Okay, right, don't fucking fizzle. Pad, it's so cute. Whoa. Yeah, we can use whisper chat if it's easier for you. Wait, what did you just do? Oh. God. The most advanced thing I know is three pips spell. That's so sad, isn't it? I'll let you take them out. <laughs> People need to see this. Look at it. Sorry, I wanted to show off your spell. getting stuck on walls. Wait, can you still get that permanent mount from the Kraken? Or is that gone now? I can't remember. Because I know you can get a permanent mount from some of the bosses. Now, let's see what I can see. 
If I'm right, and I usually am, whoever's enchanting these storm amulets also kidnapped Susie. They probably have Susie imprisoned close by. No clue what you're talking about. Cool. <laughs> I can use the link between the wand and Susie to find her, and the link between the storm amulets and their maker to produce a vision. Here goes. Nothing? Whoever this is, they have some powerful magic. I think I could break through the interference with a charged Lumina crystal. They make Lumina crystals at the mill across the river. Go talk to Blad Raven Eye and get us a crystal. All right, so what I was on about was some of the bosses can drop like permanent mounts. Um, Cause looking, when I looked at the, oh my God. When I looked at the web page for it, um, there were permanent mounts you can get from bosses. It just takes a while. Lumina crystal, you're out of luck. The undead stole all my crystals. I've got lots of raw crystal. I could grind you another one, but the wheel's broken. A dead stole the wheel cogs and scattered them all over. But even if I could grind you a crystal, I couldn't charge it. My lightning rod won't work. A Scarlet Screamer stole the primary coil. You could help get me up and running again. Gather up the cogs and get my coil oh. back from the Scarlet Screamers, and I'll get you a crystal. Nice. <laughs> Right, um, that one, that one, that one, and now a scarlet scream. Oh, fuck, stuck on a wall. Right. Come here, bitch. Really? Right through you? Come here. <laughs> oh, no! My monkey's in my ear. Oh, it gives you three. I didn't see that. <laughs> right. Wait, three of them. Oh, look at his pad. It's a mini. Look at it! <laughs> I thought he had a mustache helmet. <laughs> like a pink mustache on his helmet, but it wasn't. Oh. I need to stop smacking the fucking microphone. Oh my god. God. Wait, apprentice sorcerer? Master necromancer.
Right, two down. One to go. Alright, I'm gonna pass. Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> that there ah be bother this soggy place and be bother you if this coil's so precious to you Wait. take it right uh what are there level 10 level 10 i can't use either of them brilliant oh he got the fucking motorcycle stop right there inspect Road Warriors Chopper. Ah. God damn. Look at it. It looks so cool. Splendid. Sorry, I'm now, obsessed put those cogs to good use and Ow. get the old wheel turning. I'll fix the lightning rod. All right, we're ready. Here, just pull this lever, and we'll charge that lumina crystal right up. Doink. Ha! Ah, well done, wizard. Right, uh, got that hurt. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'm back in business. Here you are. One brand new, fully charged Lumina Crystal. She's a beauty. I hope she serves you well. God, what do you want? Could you come see me? I need your help. In a minute. Right. Let's go back to you. Illumina Crystal! This should be just what we need! The Lumina Crystal will boost the power of my ritual. It'll work this time, I'm sure of it. It's working! Susie, I can see her! But what was that horrifying thing with her? That's the Harvest Lord. We studied him in class. He's a powerful spirit from the underworld who harvests the souls of the innocent. It looked like she's in Galvano's tower. That must be where the Harvest Lord is enchanting the storm amulets. Wizard, please free my sister. And you can't free your sister yourself? <laughs> How many mounts do you have? <laughs> It's a pumpkin! <laughs> oh, I love it. You have sex? That's cool. Right, hang on. I need to do one thing first. It sucks that they cost money to do. I just need to get rid of this one. Oh my god, it's killing me. Alright. 
Really? You don't? Oh, okay. Well, I'll put it on that one, I know. Oh. One down, one to go. that taken care of because I want to unlock the Kraken oh yeah I was gonna look up if you can still get the mount from the Kraken right um what mount can you get from the Kraken the wizard oops I can't spell. Wizard. Right. Looking at the page. And items dropped. Robes, boots, wands, rings. Okay, so the it can drop the cup pig oh cube pig treasure cards mounts black stallion bat wings seraph wings starlight pony Oh okay. So it only drops twenty four hour mounts. Fuck. Oh, you're, you're, you're brimming it too. <laughs> right. Man, that sucks. Well done. That should stabilise things a little. Do you think you might do me another favour? I was bringing in a... Can you round up some raw crystal barrels and bring them to me? This is a collect quest. A yes. special kind of side quest. Unlike right. most quests, collect quests have no quest arrow. Good luck oh, exploring. Yeah. it is this way. Right, I'm just gonna grab barrels. Barrel. 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 Oh, I need to stop saying that because it's confusing me on how to say it. Alright, one. Two. Three. Three. Got it. Alright. And that should be enough. Alright. Back down here. Oh good. My shipments recovered. We didn't drive the eels. You could use this teleporter to reach the Kraken. Ah, oh, but it's broken. The rotting fodder stole its keystone. Oh my Get God. it back and double quick. Alright. Do this first. Yeah. Right. 
Okay. Um. Alright, so Lord Nightshade has a mountain drop, apparently. Right. Uh, that guy you were talking to gave me a side quest and I'm underwater. <laughs> Brilliant. You're all down there. <laughs> Have fun down there. <laughs> you did it! Quickly, there's no time to lose. Now that that teleport is repaired, you right. can go deal with that Kraken. Head I'm gonna go down. kill the Kraken. Be careful. Good luck, wizard. And have a Kraken good time. Or... I'm ashamed of myself for making that joke. No! <laughs> Teleport! <laughs> do, 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 do. have the shield oh really the snake <laughs> welcome back to the surface how was underwater <laughs> Underwater is air. Okay. <laughs> Don't die. I'll try. <laughs> At scrubs, boots, wands. Athens and the twins pets. Oh, fuck. Right. Um... <laughs> oh, thank God. Ah, uh, give me now. <laughs> Right, uh, really? Alright, well, Kraken dead. I saw the whole battle, wizard. Masterfully done. We got the beast in May. Now I hope we can get the rest of our trouble sorted out. Right, um... Oh, I want a shield. Um, no. Alright. Now to Lord Nightshade. <laughs> Can I kidnap you for a second? Yes, what do you want? <laughs> Hang on. I'm going back. We. Oh, hey, what the fuck? Hello. Okay. 
open up your mouth and get on my pumpkin. Alright. <laughs> Doink. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Alright, where are we going? Where are you kidnapping me to? <laughs> Alright. We're here. Alright. I'm back on. <laughs> oh my god, it... Is it gonna keep kicking me off every time we transport? <laughs> no, it's not. Alright. <laughs> I'm riding a pumpkin. This is fun. <laughs> I'm giving up for you to one of my quests. Alright! <laughs> Let's hope I can get there. <laughs> <laughs> not ready for me probably a few moments later well <laughs> let me just <laughs> wait for this shit to um Is it gonna work? Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! I can't enter the zone. I don't have enough crowns. And I don't have membership. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm waiting for a paycheck to do that <laughs> no i just brought areas previously um yeah no i don't <laughs> have membership i'm afraid Why am I running? <whistles> right. Sorry, I couldn't help you. <laughs> I don't have membership. <laughs> I was gonna kidnap you and take you under water with me. <laughs> as fun as that sounds, I don't have a membership. <laughs> I need to wait until payday and then get membership. Let me have a look at how much it is again. What? <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'll live later. Galanos right. uh, Tower. You've gone offline, are you good? Ah! You have been asked to enter a- Once you activate the sigil, a countdown will start! When the timer runs out, anyone standing on the sigil will go inside the dungeon with you! Right. 
Dungeon time. Ah, another soul to harvest. I knew my little prisoner would draw more to me, like flies to honey. <laughs> Wait, my dark master warned me about you. Ah, imagine the reward he will give me when I present him your very soul. Help! Yeah, you're not getting my soul, bitch. You ain't getting it. <laughs> right. You're just gonna spam my chat now. <laughs> Right, I'm like multitasking and having a look at um, how much membership is. And 80 quid, good God. I am beaten, but my master's grand design is nearly complete. Triton Avenue is doomed. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. Meet me outside, wizard. I need your help. Overheard the Harvest Lord's plans. He was raising an army of rotting fodder armed with storm magic to attack Wizard City. But there's more. The Tempest Nexus up on the ridge channels storm energy into Triton Avenue. The Harvest Lord diverted the flow of energy to enchant the amulets. But after he finished the amulets, he directed the flow back on itself. The Nexus will explode and take Triton Avenue with it. Use the teleporter by the mill to reach the Tempest Nexus. I'll meet you up there. Worse than I thought. The Nexus 
this could explode at any moment. The controls, uh, they aren't working. I can't set it right. Professor Bellstrom knows more about storm magic than anyone. Go ask him for help. I'll try to keep the Nexus stable. Hurry. You can get to re Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. God. Ravenwood. Storm, dude. Wizard. What? The Tempest Nexus is going to explode? Oh dear me, we can't have that! Here, take this master key, ring it against the metal of the Nexus three times, and the feedback loop should end! Good luck! If you marked your location, click the recall button to return to your mark. Whoa, where am I going? You did it, Wizard! Triton Avenue is saved! Um, you didn't happen to run into my little brother, Arthur, anywhere, did you? He's all right? Thank goodness. Take me to him. It'll be good to see him again. Nah. Uh... Both of these are exactly the same. Uh. Uh, candy cane. Susie. All's well. The Harvest Lord has been driven back into the shadows, and the storm energy is flowing again. There's still a lot of undead roaming around, but without the Harvest Lord to direct them, we can handle them. I'll help. So, the Harvest Lord said he had a dark master. Track that master down, wizard, so Malastare's memory can be redeemed. <laughs> Maybe you should leave that for later. For now, tell Sergeant Muldoon that things are calming down. You've gained greater power, I see. Come find me if you want to know another spell. Uh, I'm glad to be free of the harvest. You stopped him before he... I don't think I could find them, but maybe... This quest requires with a... I didn't want to click here. Ah, fuck me. Right. Order food. Triton Avenue's not going to explode? <laughs> well, I should hope not. Sounds like things are getting sorted out. What a relief. <gasps> Thanks, wizard. Um. There's a part of the city we contracted out to the Cyclops Legion, appropriately called Cyclops Lane. But their leader, General Achilles, proclaimed an edict outlawing all things with more eyes than he, and forced all residents out of their homes. It's strange. Achilles always seemed an honorable fella, without insecurities about his ocular limitations. No idea what could have changed his mind. Professor Cyrus Drake took this personally, as he and Achilles go back a ways, and sent his student to investigate. Let's see, I wrote his name down. Ah, yes. Nolan... wait. Stormgate? That can't be right. Anyway, find a kid on Cyclops Lane and, well, help them. You say this was orchestrated by the former Death Professor? 
I thought he was dead. Well, all the other dead are back, so yeah, that makes sense. The whole city's a mess. The guard is completely overwhelmed. I hate to ask, but could you see if Private Quinn on Firecat Alley needs help? Right. Mug here a minute. What was I doing? Oh yeah. I'll do your buried truth thing later. Good. Professor Drake sent me another assistant. Hurry, this way. We can talk safely over here. I really hate you. There. Much better. Hopefully you're more useful than my other assistants. Lazy layabouts just run off. My fellow students and I came to confirm the successful thwarting of the Cyclops Rebellion. But there's a problem. The thwarting was unsuccessful. Oh, really? Which should be impossible. Professor Drake handled this problem as any conjurer would. He summoned trolls and minotaurs to deal with it for him. But these lumbering trolls and minotaur warhorns don't seem to be working. They're just wandering around in circles. Uh huh. We could report that to Professor Drake, but I see a spark of ambition in you. Let's knock the sense back into these beasts ourselves, yes? I really hate you. <laughs> that will certainly earn us some extra credit. You go battle trolls and I'll handle the war horns. Yeah, sure. Sure you would. Stormgate. <laughs> Sounds like someone didn't want to follow into the family storm wizarding. <laughs> One down. Oh, 
of course. Game decided to freeze a bit there. Oh lovely, the game keeps having a heart attack. You fight good. You're not as easy to capture as other students were. Now General Achilles let trolls go hungry. to defeat the Cyclopses have joined up with them and captured my student assistants? What did you do? What did I do? What did you do? Nothing, that's what. Never mind, never mind. This is no time for recriminations. That will come later. Now we must figure out how this happened. Myth minions cannot just turn on their masters. It's against their code of honor, or laws of physics, or whatever. There's something strange afoot. I think our best course of action is to tell a grown-up. Report the situation to Professor Drake, while I remain and bravely hold the line. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. But make sure to mention that I'm still here, bravely holding the line, while the other students are busy talking and getting captured. Uh-huh. You can get to Raven. Use the return to commons button to get back to the commons and then head to Ravenwood. He is so useless. Oh, yep, I'm going the right way. Yes, yes, trouble on Cyclops Lane, something, something, students. Oh, you're one of those fast talkers, aren't you? Lovely. Let me save you the trouble of breathlessly barking and dancing about like a dog reporting a mishap in a well. I already know everything. And I need you, yes you, to help me save Cyclops Lane. Are you up to it? Splendid, then quickly. Go to Victor Darkwood in the shopping district. He will give you an item of great importance. Bring it back to me. <sighs> okay, time to get this asshole's laundry. So 
because for some reason he can't get his own fucking laundry. How is he even still a fucking professor? He is an asshole. So many people. I've been doing this for two hours. Oh. Welcome to Darkwood's Apparel Barrel, where shopping for apparel's more fun than Monkistons in a barrel. Professor Drake sent you, eh? Which one? The mean one or the evil one? <laughs> Tyrus? Aye. Oh, he's the mean one. <laughs> the mean one or the evil one? <laughs> the old death professor Malastair, oh, aye. That's his brother. Always wear a grumpy pair. Can't say I mind there being one less around these days. Oof. Anyway, here's the old Grumps package. All his laundry clean, pressed, and folded correctly. No matter what he says. See, we went to pick up his fucking laundry. Oh, look at an owl. Midnight Owl. Ah, that's rude. The Midnight Owl looks so cool. <laughs> God, look at all these people. That laundry. certainly took you long enough. No doubt Victor folded my robes improperly as well. Uh, why do you continue raving about Cyclops Lane? The situation is well in hand. I sent an army of trolls to ensure as much. The trolls are revolting, you say? Yes, that is a problem, and it must be dealt with harshly. Take this note to Headmaster Ambrose at once. All right. <laughs> Why didn't I just do this the quick way? What? What's the newest fire spell? God, right. <laughs> I want no spoilers, thank you. I will not expel you. I realize Professor Drake takes particular umbrage at the trolls are revolting joke, but this is simply too far. Hmm. You mean to say the trolls he sent to Cyclops Lane are revolting in the combative sense? Oh dear, he must remedy this at once. Don't worry, young wizard. Professor Drake may seem callous, but he is not his brother. <sighs> Impress upon him the severity of the issue, and he will help. No, he won't. Wait, I'm gonna add a few more things to my wish list. Death Leprechaun. There it is. Found it. <laughs> Panther. 
Raven! Definitely. Uh. Ooh. Look at that. That is beautiful. I'm distracting myself. Wow. That disappeared quickly. Suddenly there's thousands of people and then suddenly there's not. Right. Go. You're still here? The trolls are rebelling, hmm? Captured some students, you say? Nolan behaving bravely? I don't believe you. <laughs> Although, thinking about it, Wizard City is old and holds many ghosts with strange powers not commonly practiced today. It's not impossible such a spirit may have a way to enthrall my minions. Though General Achilles would have neither means nor motive to summon one. What's that? Yes, Malastare would. I heard you met him. Well, he and Achilles are old comrades. Who knows what dark powers he gave the Cyclops. All I can do is guide you. Whatever my brother summoned to disrupt my magic will be with Achilles. Find it, destroy it, and save the students. Uh, also, make sure young Master Stormgate doesn't get swallowed by his own humongo frog again. <laughs> uh. If you marked your location, click the recall button to return to your mark. Professor Drake said to tell me not to get eaten. I knew deep down he really cared, and he's trusted me to save Cyclops Lane. No, he hasn't. So then, if the students were kidnapped by trolls, and the trolls work for the Cyclopsi, then a Cyclops should know where the students are. No shit, Sherlock. Therefore, my first order of business is to have you go fight Cyclopsicles until one tells you where the students are. I have a feeling you have no idea what the fuck you are saying, do you? Right. Whoa. Ow, I just punched my fan. That hurt. I'm doing great at talking. <laughs> Not. Just having a chill, quiet sesh. Chill and quiet. Woo! deliver them because there's nightmares in there no saint cyclops can endure all right and hold the dark cave we go you have to get us out of here 
here. Those zombie creatures have the talisman to dispel these bubbles. Get it from them, please! All right. Why not? Yeah, that's gonna help. Fuck. Alright. Do that, then that. Take the talisman, free the miscreants, but you will all be chow for the Great One, whose gaze enthralls and whose teeth destroy. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you! I thought for sure the spirits here were going to possess us and make us dance to catchy, upbeat music! It's my worst fear. Frella, is your worst fear? I don't know what happened. The trolls just grabbed us and sealed us in bubbles to become vessels for the Great One. Whatever that means. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd very much like to flee in terror. Go for it. <laughs> flee in terror. Dude, you rock! Did you see all these gnarly ghosts? Oh, yeah. Well, Cyrus said they were sealed in this cave by his bro back in the day. Something with power over the dead broke him out, though. Oh, I bet it was Malorn. Dude's always been jealous of my raw cool. Okay, sure. Oh, you think Malister did it? Didn't they blow up with the death school or something? Yeah, whatever. Going out to get some rays. Okay. You sound like you should be in the fire school, not the fucking ice school, but whatever. Dude. Alright, let's bitch. At last! Let me guess, Nolan sent you to do his work for him? <sighs> that is such a myth wizard thing to do. Or maybe it's just him. I'll get everyone to safety. Find us back by Nolan and we can discuss next steps. I think it's just a ham thing. Everyone safe? Good. Now we need to finish the job the trolls and Warhorn started. We need to defeat General Achilles. I don't know what dark influence Achilles found in this cave or how it lets him disrupt control of Professor Jake's minions, but it doesn't matter. I feel like it matters a little bit. We'll never get to Achilles' tower with those Warhorns on his side. No, we definitely won't. 
Our spell books are gone, and they are not entry-level monsters. <laughs> but our new friend here can do it. Oh, that's an excellent idea I just had. Wizard, go fight Warhorns until they surrender. I'll stay here and protect the others. Sure. Um, thanks. Sure you will. Let's get rid of these assholes when I can get to them. There they are. Nice, it's gonna take a while. <sighs> you won't get past Colonel Romulus anyway. You just wasted your time. I'm going wrong way. Who did they give me? Eh. Alright. Panel. Romulus. I saw you defeat the Warhorns, wizard. But can you defeat? I hope so. He just hasn't been the same since that someone needs to save General Achilles from himself. Can you do it? Then go inside and good luck. All right. Let's go. One of you comes to face me at last. I see. Know that. this. I, I really want to listen to that, but um, I can't. <laughs> Did this bitch already started the fight? On you. Da, 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 da.
god, I have such a twinge in my hand. Right. I need to lose my position. Ow. <laughs> Right, heal her. There's the more of us, the better. I don't want to do that. Let's see if she survives before I can heal her. Why do they keep doing the same attack? You brought Achilles to heal. Doesn't matter. As long as my input remains on a Cyclops lane, 
I will never fade. He's right, you know. His thralls keep him tethered to the physical world. But if he lost them, he'd fade back to the Nexus twixt life and death. I'm telling you this because I never liked that bunny. I took Cyclops Lane as a distraction from Malister's plan, whatever that is. We Cyclops are an honorable people, and I was honor bound to Malister for saving my life from a rogue optometrist. Now, I'm honor bound to you. The Great One sees the watching eyes, our security system, turning them into hypno eyes to lull all the minions on the street all at once. Even now, these crystal balls maintain his bewitching gaze. Destroy them, and his influence over the street will dissipate. Alright. <laughs> this isn't the end of me, Wizard. I'll be back. Ours will be a rivalry for the ages. You'll see. One day, the Great One will return! <laughs> The Great One is a fucking bunny. He probably won't return, and his thralls should slowly return to normal. I vow I will honor my word and restore order to this street. The fucking bunny. What the hell is a bunny gonna do? The trolls and warhorns seem more docile now. I take it that means we were successful in defeating General Achilles. We? We? No. More like this wizard was successful, bro. Doesn't look like you moved an inch since you got us captured. Ha. Uh. Now, now, let's not point fingers. We succeed and fail as a team. And I will report our success to Professor Drake as such a team effort. No, you won't. Whatever you say, Nolan. Wizard, you should head back to Sergeant Muldoon in Old Town and tell him Psychops Lane is under control. Hello. Huh? Oh, Andy should be. Oh. Three chips. Uh, um, I need a hello me one. I don't think they like the hello me one. I kept black flash. Change the pick map. Um, well, the Coke one's Andy's, mine's the large one. Oh, they're both orange. Well, mine should be the Fanta. Fanta. Andy's the Coke, yours is the water. Alright. I have food, I am happy. Ow, that hurt. General Achilles is back and down. Good. Then maybe he can do the job he promised to do and maintain order on Cyclops Lane. Though it may take a while with all the creatures roaming around there now. Good work all the same, wizard. Hmm. All right. Let's go by Cali. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you. Oh. Halt! Oh! You're that unicorn way hero wizard, aren't you? What? Yep. Sergeant Muldoon sent you. Woo! I need all the help I can get. This street is ablaze, wizard, and not in the way it's always ablaze. It's been completely consumed by anger and hostility and violence. <laughs> the fire elves have gone insane. A gaggle of them even broke down the gate to the dark cave. Now the undead have spilled out into the street. I can't hold all these roving mobs of mayhem at bay alone. Please, wizard, can you drive the haunted minions back? Yeah. You are the only god that actually looks like he's done some work. Try that again, shall I? Oh, you are dead. keep to this corner of the street but we're not going back in the dark cave it's spooky in there dude we're scared of the dark cave the undead have promised not to venture any farther it's not ideal but after everything else that's happened here i call that a win It all started when the Fire Elves were rehearsing the song Recollection from Fire Cats, the musical. Everything was going fine, pitchy soprano solo aside, when one of the Fire Elves suddenly shot a tiny arrow at me. Then another elf joined in. Then another. The animosity spread like wildfire. Now even the lawn decorations have risen up and gone all stabby. A wizard named Lizzo Firespitter was coaching the elves on singing before the trouble started. I saw them attack her. I wanted to help, but uh, 
uh, I simply had to secure this position. Now I'm the only thing standing between all this chaos and Old Town. Please, will you check on Lizzo? I would. Right. I'm gonna eat my bow. I'm going. There she is. This is no place for a newbie like you. Wait! You're the new kid who cleaned up Unicorn Way, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here now. Some fire elves attacked me and stole my spell book. The truth hurts, but I'm literally powerless without it. Could you get my spell book back? You will? Thanks. Just try to be gentle, okay? The fire elves aren't evil. Someone, something, has corrupted them. Yay. <laughs> Oh, the spider is good. In a pig's I'll be eating this. Mm. Oh, Of smoky days, the stale cold smell of morning. Fire for fiddle! <laughs> oh, that's just creepy. My spell book! Thank you! You really are as talented as they say. However, we're gonna need more than talent to help the fire elves. I have no idea what's causing my little friends to go cuckoo bananas like this, or how to help them. But I might know of someone who does. There's a rumor of a witch who was fired from Ravenwood that lives in hiding here on Firecat Alley. They say she turned a kid into a humongo frog. I think we can convince her to use her advanced magical prowess to help the fire elves. I might be too optimistic, but that's a human in me. 
The wizard in me is worried she's the one who caused all this. Either way, we need to find her. Perhaps one of the other denizens knows how. I saw Shellis Gruffheart cowering in a corner at the top of the hill instead of helping me while I was running for my life earlier. Oh well, go ask Shellis if he knows where the witch lives. Damn, girl. Let's do this. Oh. Leave me alone! Oh, you're a wizard. Wait, you're not two fire elves in a wizard costume, are you? No? You promise? Because I know ice magic. No, you don't. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> Which is good, because I don't know a lick of ice magic. So... Are you here to save me, magical child? Not quite. Fair enough. <laughs> magical child. What do you want then? Do I know where the old witch is? Hmm, I'm not sure. What I am sure of is that the bedeviled fire elves stole my strong box. My entire month's earnings are in that box, wizard. You get my strong box back. Wink, wink. And maybe I'll remember the answer to your question. Uh asshole. Ah. Oh. Hang on. It broke. <clears throat> no, you've had it some. Right. Let's try again. There we go. <laughs> that bitch screaming help. You have someone with you. <laughs> what is your outfit, dude? <laughs> I 
how are you level 20? Man needs chips are dry. to tell fire for fiddle the fiend of the fell fire for fiddle fire for fiddle <laughs> right. my straw box thank you now about your question i can't say for certain she's a witch but there's a peculiar hermit who lives down the way a peculiar hermit Sure. <clears throat> she keeps her windows drawn, and Hold there's on, often strange smoke billowing from her chimney. That's the best I can give you. Hope it helps. Uh, it did not help at all. But anyway. What? How dare you interrupt an old woman from her stories? Did Ambrose send you to banish me? Well, I'm not going without a fight! What's that? Corrupted fire elves? Murderous, Murderous magma, magma men? Man. The undead have spilled from Dark Cave? They need the witch's help? Isn't a witch just a female wizard? But in this game, no. First off, I'm 100% not, not that witch. witch. Or any witch, for that matter. I'm an alchemist. Secondly, this sounds like a city guard job. <laughs> the guard is pinned down. Ugh, typical. All right, then, I'll... <laughs> but I need to know exactly what we're dealing with here. Right. Take this special vial and collect a sample of magma from those magma men you mentioned for me to analyze. We'll go from there. Fair enough. Fetch. <laughs> Alright. Hello, I'm gonna join him. Really, Mom Kai. Um. What quests are you on? Just one. <clears throat> uh, 
been a while. Mm, I said that out loud. Me too. You're level 20. Finally, I can use that fucking spell. I've been streaming. Cool. Oh, that was quick. Phew! You smell like sulfur. Now, hand me the magma and I'll run a quick analysis on it. Uh -huh. And done. Ah, looks like the root cause was a banshee's whale curse. Oh, and I recognize these melodic signatures. Bastilla Gravewind. Bastilla was the prima donna of the Fire Globe Theatre decades ago. She had a bitter relationship with the Fire Elves, especially fellow actors. During a performance of Magic Fire Music, her elf co-star accidentally summoned actual fire magic, and that was the end of poor Bastilla. <laughs> <clears throat> I'd heard that she Brilliant. had a thriving underworld theatre career, but apparently she's decided to return with a vengeance. A Vanshee's Whale Curse works like an auditory virus. Rehearsals for that dreadful musical served as the perfect way to infect the masses. Thankfully, this particular whale seems to have no effect on humans, but we need to help the Fire Elves before their little brains melt. To reverse the curse, I'll need a Herkimer stone to record Bastilla's voice onto. Get one from the rotting fodder in Dark Cave. The Dark Cave is this way. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Back. Alex Rose joined, Alex Rose left. Ugh. Fuck. I went the wrong way. Uh, 
Nope, not that one. Oh, God damn it. Well. I'll go to side quests when I'm not recording that way. Yeah, a little bit easier. Bitch. to see how far I can get with this. Ah, take our Herkima stone. We'll dig up another to record our sickened beats upon. Right. Um... this page for a minute i'll be back momentarily enjoy the atmospheric music
come back. There we go. Now then. Let's head back. I thought you could cut this out. <laughs> but I can only cut travel out in recordings. Oh well. Stone should work nicely to record Bastilla's wail. I'll override whatever noise the rotting fodder had imbued it with. You'll just need to get Bastilla mad enough to let out a good shriek. Herkimer stones naturally capture the sound waves of the undead. I did a little reconnaissance while you were gone. Big surprise, Bastilla is in her old house, the Diva's Tower, down the street. Diva's good luck! Tower. <laughs> This tower. All right, let's go to the Diva's Tower then. I'm going the wrong way. This way. Oh, come on. Thank you. Oh, the button did not want to work. Yeah, I'm level nine. A little bit sad. But... There we go. We've made it. once the Dark Master's plan is fulfilled. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> you sure about that? I'm 
really sure I have something to say about that. And that is hopefully defeating your ass. Never mind. Just nothing, apparently. Oh, yeah, because she's the. Fuck. Hi. Oh. Risk healing. Fuck it. Risk healing. Yeah. A healing was a good call. Do that one. do that just in case. She's still alive. <laughs> Please just die. Oh, 
Oh, damn it. Fuck it. Where? Leg. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't want to do that. Okay, this asshole. Oh, hmm. I did not want to do that. I did not. Right. Please, for the love of anything, work. Fuck. Oh my god, I am not doing well. Just let me kill him. I just want to be on my way. Thank you. And bye. Jesus. Did you capture Bastilla's whale? Great! What's that? She warned there's still more to Malister's sinister plan? Wait, Malister's behind this? Malister? Drake? The Death Professor? I'd heard he blew himself up with the Death School after his sweet wife, Sylvia, passed. Truth be told, I'm not surprised. There was always a certain darkness about him. Sylvia was too good for that entire Drake family, if you ask me. Nonetheless, we still need to transmute Bastilla's whale into a cure for the Fire Elves. We'll just need a few things before we can get started. Unfortunately, the alchemical transmutation will require some equipment that I'm no longer privy to. 
One student turns himself into a humongo frog, and everyone wants the alchemy professor run out of town. Bartleby forbid Ambrose have my back. Anyhow, I can make do with crafting equipment. Here's a list of items to borrow from Gloria Crendel in Old Town. Just, uh, don't mention my name. Ugh. I don't even have enough mana to mark my fucking location. Brilliant. <laughs> Oh well. Hello, young wizard. How can I help you craft today? You'd like to borrow some crafting items. Oh, I suppose that's all right. Let's see your list. Hmm. One large beaker, one crucible, five aludels, and a small athanor. Well, this is your lucky day. I just received a crate of those items. Of course, there are a few other items in the crate as well. Tell Greta she's welcome to them too. Call it an overdue parting gift. What? I can spot Greta's alchemy setup a mile away. Don't worry. Everybody knows she's been hiding on Firecat Alley. <laughs> oh, do say hello for me. <laughs> Ah, you must be the new student. I want to fashion you a proper set of magical robes. They'll help you on your journeys and look good too. But the gobblers ate all my supply. I'll need... Finally, I'll need good leather. The belts the Cyclopes wear will be perfect. You can get some in Cyclops Alley. Go Fine. forth, young wizard. I'll do that after. Right. Give me that. Right. <laughs> Back here. <clears throat> um. Back to. Bitch, witchy bitch. Um, um, thank you. How did it go? You got everything on the list? And Gloria says hello? Oh. Let's just get this done. Go set up the alchemy table over there. Ooh, that equipment is nice enough for an amateur like you to perform the transmutation. Go on, just place the Herkimer stone on the crucible. There we are. Now bring me the potion and let me check your work. Wow! A-plus work here, young one. Good Yay. work. Now for the next part of the plan. The curative intonation potion will work similarly to the initial curse, so you'll need to administer it to an influential fire elf. Alakane Swift Arrow is the most famous fire elf actor alive. Once he's cured, just explain to him that it's up to him to pass the cure on to his people. You'll find Alakane in the Fire Globe Theater. I've imbued your wand with the curative potion. Now go give Alakane a good thwacking. <laughs> a good thwacking. <laughs> I went the wrong way again. I'm just 
can't go to that teleporter and use the fucking teleporter. She didn't want to join. Fire for Frittle! The greatest magicians have something to learn! Fire for Frittle! Wizard City must burn! Fire for Frittle! <laughs> yes, because that's not creepy at all. I die. Thing that oh, sure, that's helpful, uh, but it does do more damage. We'll give that a try anyway. Never mind. Let's try it again. <laughs> Why not? Oh, that definitely worked. Oh, fuck. Cool. That was half my health, you a-hole. decent damage to it. Use that card. Oh, 
other. I need to stop catching the white one. Resonance hath been driven from my brain. By the hand of this gentle wizard, I am again stark raving sane. How can I ever repay you? Fake normally. <laughs> that sounded a bit too harsh. You say only I can deliver my people from the grip of this dreadful banshee's curse? But how? I am an actor. We are the opposite of people. The cure and my voice hath entwined? Then accept the role of hero I must, and I shall deliver a performance for the ages to the streets! Yeah, cause that sounded normal. I'm just glad that's over with. First. Um, teleport. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this. Ha 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 ha. Teleport. Why don't I have to go back to fucking Greta? Jesus. Oh, Greta. Well, did you fix this mess? Can I go back to my stories now? Finally, this whole ordeal has made me realize that I don't miss working with students as much as I'd previously thought. No offense. Bitch. Run along then, dear. And if you would be so kind as to omit my name from your official reporting to the city guard, I'd appreciate it. Ta-ta. Ta-ta! You are such a bitch. Yeah, do it the same attack again. Why not? Oh, that's not gonna have much effect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Ghana. And now I've got two. So. Casual fire phoenix. A haunted minion. Oh, I need to go try an avenue. Yeah. Let's go back to try to make me. I keep losing my fucking mouse. Panda. Oh my god, people, stop joining! So that's our random move, right? I know. I need to go do it.
can't use that. And can't use that. Right. Now I'm gonna go peel off the gun Cyclops land. I've been doing this for almost four hours. And I didn't get as far as what I thought I would. Sad. <laughs> I should have used the teleporter. Ah! Fuck! I was nowhere near you. Asshole! Stay out of my fucking way. Right, um, was it belt I needed? I'm gonna come over you. Give this one a go. Please work. I have officially been streaming for four hours. And it is six seventeen at night. Which, hey, good for me, I guess. I knew 
you'd have no trouble securing those supplies. Now, a magical binding here, some weaving spells there, all done. I hope those robes serve you well, wizard. Good fortune on all your travels. Can I not? I cannot. Okay. Brilliant. Well, I should be able to equip them after I've talked to Private Quinn. And then, yeah. Great balls of fire! You're alive! When I didn't hear back from you, I just assumed... Well, I'm glad you weren't fricasseed. Did you find Lizzo? She's safe now? Whew! And a cure for the Fire Elves Madness is being administered as we speak? You're amazing! You should tell Sergeant Muldoon! And feel free to mention how I'm still bravely defending this position. If it comes up. Thanks, wizard. I couldn't have done it without you. Right. Oh, let's go uh, talk to what's this? Up here. Well, hello there. <laughs> I've not made say I found this book on one of the benches while I was strolling to work this morning. It looks important, and uh, I don't have time to drop it by the library. Would you take it there for me? No, hello again, problem. young wizard. Do the smell of brimstone and burnt hair spell word from Firecat Alley? You helped quell an undead insurrection and cured a fire elf curse? Impressive! We're not out of the woods yet, but we're making headway. Good job on cleaning up those streets. You know, if this whole student of magic thing doesn't work out, you have a bright future as a guard. Nah. For now, though, report back to the headmaster and tell him that everything is under control. I don't know why that level 100 odd person sent me a promo quest, but hey ho. Hundred and forty three. Why did you send me a grammar quest? I didn't expect... I didn't expect that. <laughs> wow. I really did not expect that. <laughs> God. I am so tired. <laughs> Malastare broke open the sealed caves and unleashed the undead. Why? Deranged as he's become, I can't believe chaos is his only ambition. It's not his only ambition. He was always dedicated to his wife, Sylvia. When illness claimed her, his devotion led him to delve into terrible rituals to restore her to life. How long did it take you to get to level 145? I bet that took a lot of work. I forbade him. He ignored me and destroyed the death school in his folly. Now he seeks the Order of the Fang, a lost sect with their own secrets. We must learn why. 
There is a being who sees through time with the eyes of history and the future. Jesus. Gifted him by the grandmother of ravens. Good. Good on you. <laughs> Damn. But his eye of history was stolen some time past. And without it, his vision is limited and his memory addled. Oh. Alas, we haven't any other choice. So come with me, wizard, to Ravenwood. <laughs> to Ravenwood, then, I guess. I'm always on a mellow head. <laughs> Still can't speak. I'm honestly surprised anyone is still watching at this point. Because I'm just having a quiet, relaxing gameplay. <laughs> Wizard, once upon a time there was the first world, inhabited by primal beings and three terrible titans. When the feuding titans shattered their world, the primal tree and grandmother raven sang the song of creation and wove its fragments together into the spiral. This is one of those primal beings, Bartleby, the grandfather <laughs> of trees. I do need someone he to guided talk me to. to bring you here, and it's his insight we seek now. It's always nice to have someone to talk to. My I'm sight not is not what it mad. once was. My gaze has turned foul and my memory is fading. You must find the one from the world without magic. This is that Excuse one, me? Bartleby. Oh dear. You see, wizard, he can't stay with us. His mind is lost in time in the past and the future. Just say his mind is lost. You don't have to say in time, past and future. Just say his fucking mind's lost. Beware of the spiders, fire rings, the alligator eats the stars. Malastare, if you take my eye, my gaze will turn foul and your spirit rotten. Malastare stole the eye of history? Of course. And this repeated bit about a gaze turning foul, it was once a specter named Foul Gaze. He often haunted Sapphira's tower in Old Town. Perhaps his patterns haven't changed. You must investigate at once. So, what sort of things do you do at your high ass level? But doing shit in the earlier world worlds are a lot easier. What was I doing? I don't know. Oh yeah, far guys. <laughs> To quest to found new gear and decorate house. To be fair, I've in all my time playing, I've never bothered decorating my house. <laughs> and the only how to find teams of people take on hide. That sounds fun, if I'm honest. My highest level is. 23, so I'm not that far. <laughs> and to be fair, I also ran out of crowns to purchase um, the other worlds. To On the trail of the Order of the Fang, part two. Still looking for the Order of the Fang. How I did not find the Order of the Fang useless! Who are you? Oh, you're the one that dealt with the Harvest Lord, the Banshee, and the Bunny. 
I was hoping to meet you. I enjoy a challenge. Take a good look, wizard, because this foul gaze will be your last. Nah, it won't. It won't be my last. And you don't have much of a gaze, dude. Right, get rid of the minion. <laughs> Right. Um, I do not have the card I want. Fuck. Alright. Guess that will do. Yeah. So the only reason my leveling has stopped at 23 was because I ran out. I don't do some membership, but it's usually worth it. This was 8. 8k crowns if you buy it with crowns and... It costs 8k... 80k... Oh fuck, I can't live. <laughs> it costs 8 crowns if you buy it with crowns. It costs you more errors than that. Eight. Brown. Eight. Get you. That's true. Oh, hello. I didn't realise you joined the fight. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's just money to get membership. Aww. Thank you. Aww. That is so cute. <laughs> Oh, oh. Oh, 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 that was too cute! Bah! While you were busy playing with elves and bunnies, I found every book on the Order of the Fang and sent them to my master. Oh, that was brilliant, dude. The useful ones, anyway. What? No, not Malastair. I don't serve Malastair. I serve Lord Nightshade, Keeper of the Darkness. He serves Malastair. And he rules even now from the place of our banishment, the hub of our new undead kingdom, the Haunted Cave. You know, you know the one I'm talking about. It's ours. <laughs> Dude, that buggy attack was... Bunny attack? Jesus, no. That squirrel attack was too cute. <laughs> I love the higher level attacks. They're amazing and also adorable. I have a cat in here somewhere. Oh, I heard a cat. No, guess not. Right, well, thank you very much for the help on that. <laughs> What is wrong with my cards? Uh, spell deck, treasure card. Oh, that's it. Well, okay. Right. Um, again, thank you. And I'm gonna disappear now. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. The squirrel is a bit spe special spell. You don't unlock it with talent points, but with the spell mage. Ah. Oh yeah, and also that. Where is it? Shit. It's like a. Sh it's like a, like the ship of the desk. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for, spell writing. Spell writing is also a thing. Ooh. Okay. 
I have no idea how you get these bell writing bits. Wait, what's it say in here? Each spell has its own spell, not continues to pose, blah blah blah, from the spell. Uh, how do you get these? Uh, I don't know. Right. What was I doing? I don't know. You can get the spell when it's from grinding some bosses for the quests. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Teleport. Or oh, buying packs in a cracker. Yeah, I only have 221, which won't get me any links. <gasps> Death works. That's not this. Oh, rainbow. Cherry blossom. I like that. That's cool. Right, I need to stop looking at the shop because I can't fucking buy anything. I haven't been paid. <laughs> Wonder care if I was I'd get membership <laughs> like hell even a month's membership at that it's probably like the cheapest I'd be able to do <laughs> oh hello <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh people keep teleporting to me I love it all right what am I doing I can't remember. Oh yeah. Uh the dark cave. Right. Go to the dark cave. Wait, how much time do I have left on this broomstick? Because otherwise it's gonna be very slow walking. Twenty hours. That's fine. If this broom runs out, I'm gonna have no way of fast or quicker than running travel. Hmm. All right. Ponted cave. Better come. Get more comfortable. Jeepers! Don't sneak up on people like that. Don't you mouse. know this cave is haunted? Shop. For gold, you can. I completely forgot that was a thing. Permanent. Usable. Right. Oh, look at that. That looks sick. Right, that is not gold. Are you gold? No. Are you gold? No. You can get permanent... <laughs> a permanent broom. Brooms are kind of boring. Oh, that looks beautiful. And so did I. Why are they not gold? The shadow wings are beautiful. Right. That's gold. Blue Dragon 85k. Oh my god. That is, I am never one, two, three, four zeros. Oh my god. Oh, 
five full months old. I am never gonna be able to afford this. Uh, Isn't this place just wowser? I heard all the seals were broken, and I had to finally see what kind of ghosts are in here. All right, Velma. Gold is eventually easy to get. I read books on these caves. All the books in the library, actually. But nothing makes history come alive more than really seeing the ghosts. Did you come here out of intellectual curiosity, too? Oh, oh no, Lord okay. Nightshade. I've heard of him. I mean guy. He lives in that big tower K. down the way. Wow. Well, I say lives. He doesn't live. He's dead. He unlives in the tower. If you go fight him and survive, can you bring me a souvenir? Ooh, or ask him about the realms of the dead, like the underworld, or Nightside, or Tartarus. I'm super curious. I bet they're nice. I bet they're not. Alright, now I'm fucking level 10. I can equip this ship. Uh Yeah, the only god I've got is one thousand is twelve hundred. <laughs> the only god I've got is twelve hundred, so Ooh, yeah. Right. Your training has paid off. I could teach you a new spell now. Come see me when you're ready. Excuse me. I'll get that spell card in a minute. <laughs> yes, it's a uh... defeat this dude. Do you have any concept of what I am? No mere ghost lost in the ether. I am darkness! King of the dead, lord of the night side, master of the things in the dark which float and scream. And now you have the honor of becoming one of my subjects. Nah, I'm good. Oh, hello. <laughs> you appeared again. <laughs> right. What is that? Oh my god. Ah. I didn't know that was a thing. Jesus, it's been way too long. There are also shadow pips above level 100. Ooh. I didn't know that was a thing. I, have, I haven't played this in ages. <laughs> As you can tell by my max character being level 23. <laughs> I'm glad this game still gets updates and everything. A scroll requires life school pip. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was funny. 
is also known for quarter of five spell trip. Cool. I spell fucked up. <laughs> God, I hate it when it fizzles. <laughs> oh, and it has Viking markings on the squirrel. Oh, so cute. You can get shit from defeating Lord Nightshade, can't you? Oh. The books on the Order of the Fang? I have not these things. I collected them as gifts. Gifts to the one who freed us. To the necromancer concealed safely in my domain. In the night side, where no mortal thing can see him. I'm gonna go there. Shit, I should have looked at the ring. Hang on. Backpack when it loads. Backpack. Ring. Oh, a th ring I can't use. I just got a one day out of Mount Luck Ear. Lucky dude, I just got a ring. <laughs> I got a ring from that bottle. <laughs> a death ring, but... Alright. Oh, where the fuck is Velma? I mean, Daisy. She's a... She should... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a Velma. She's definitely a Velma. Oh, you survived! Or did you? You too seem solid and opaque, but it might just be the lighting. Nightside! The underplane that sits between the realms of life and death, which can't be seen by mortal eyes. Or do you mean a different nightside? No, that's the one you mean. Yeah, I've read about it. <laughs> All about it. It's a real physical place somewhere. You just can't see it. Ghosts can, so you'd need ghost eyes. Oh, or the fiery gaze of something possessed by spectral energy. Like those field guards. Defeat field guards and get their pumpkin heads. Then I can do a thing and reveal Nightside. <laughs> then I can do a thing. I just saw the tree up here. Hi. God, my spells are so shit. Um, fuck. My spells are so shit. Though. Sake. 
What is that? <laughs> Tree power. <laughs> All right, now I need to defeat one more. Uh, that should have technically counted. <laughs> right there we go thank you my dude wowzer you did a great job these pumpkin heads are perfect unfortunately i can't do the thing i thought i could i read all about it while you were gone but i can't i can do stuff but what you need is a thing a thing Headmaster Ambrose knows about things. All things. You should ask him for help. Uh. What was that thing? Oh my god, that's a lot of people. Right. Kill one. Load faster. Thank you. Wizard, I'm afraid Bartleby's mind remains jumbled. I don't think he can help us. Have you had any luck with foul gaze? What's that you say? You need me to do a thing. Oh my, young people these days are terribly imprecise. Ah, you believe Malister is hiding in Nightside? That explains much. It would conceal him from all but Bartleby, thus the theft of his eye. But I see your plan. I can enchant these ghostly pumpkins to transfer their vision into yours, allowing you to see that you which did in the Yeah. At least for a short time. It'll take but a moment. And... There. <laughs> it is done. Go now. Follow your instincts. Find the hidden path to Nightside. I'll do that now before I forget. Yeah. We've made an upgrade to your spell book, wizard. You can now sort your treasure cards by school. Wow, I don't care. God, where am I? Oh, fuck, what did I press now? Oh. Okay, I'm back here. <laughs> God, that is a lot of people. Right. And here. What's it? A wizard? It has been so long. Have you come seeking the school of death magic? You have found it. And much more. 
the death school and I once sat above in the raven wood under the shade of the grandfather tree. But in his rage and sorrow, Malastair stole us. He feigned an explosion and shifted the very land upon which the school sits here to the night side. From this haven he conducts his research into what I do not know. All I could do was sit and wait for Bartleby to see us and send help. His eye of history was stolen. No, Malastair must have done this. He is in the school now. You must fix what he has broken. <laughs> no. Master, what about this book? The Order of the Fang was born of... Um, uh, some word that starts with K. Give me that. Crocotopia, you dunce. And I knew that already. I've been scouring the place for ages. I came back here to find where in Croc... Oh, I see. Yes, this book does indeed have the answer I seek. So you're too late, wizard. Yes, I remember you. You fought my minions, thwarted all my diversions, but it doesn't matter. I've already won. That was very dramatic. <laughs> it's just a book. Hello there. I'm Dwargan, caretaker of the Death School. What's your name? Did you know the Death School moved to Nightside? That's an odd name. Oh, I get it. I thought it was darker than usual outside. Haven't gotten out much. And my master started bringing me books to study. Oh, and an orb that he said could show us all of history. I have history. No, don't have any. <laughs> I have new dyes, though, if you want some. Still crunchy, too. Hmm. Anyway, my master couldn't get the orb to work. So he traded it for more books. We've read everything to find the Order of the Fang. Turns out they're on Crocotopia in a great... Something that begins with S. You should probably tell the headmaster the death school moved. Don't want the students to miss class. Holy shit. Okay. Right. Oh my god, so many people. <laughs> Lord Faso, thank you. Some good news, Wizard. The guards are reporting progress in pushing out the remaining undead, thanks to you. Now tell me, did you find Nightside? Yep. What? Oh my, this is indeed distressing news. Oh, it's like the end of comments. But at yeah. least we know what happened to the Death School and poor Dwargan. So I'll people. manage shoring up our passage to Nightside so we can resume proper death classes. But we must still contend with Malister. We know he seeks the Order of the Fang, a mysterious sect of wizards from Crocotopia, but we don't know why. With Bartleby's eye missing, we must rely on old-fashioned methods to find out. Take these two spiral keys. They will grant access to the world door inside Bartleby. Even in his current state, he can guide you from there. 
Right. <laughs> Come on, load for me. You wish to explore new worlds? Heed my words. All the worlds of the spiral are connected through world doors, which are unlocked by spiral keys. The keys the headmaster gave you will allow you to travel to Throughout your adventures, you will discover new keys. I chose you for a reason, and while my mind is fogged and my memories vague, I trust my past judgment. Yours will be an incredible journey, young wizard. Now it is time for you to take the first step. Right. Off to Crocotopia we go. Another wizard? A servant of the one called Malister, are you? No? Oh, then perhaps you can help us. Malister has been here many times. And each time he comes, he raises more of the oppressive tuts from their slumber, seeking their knowledge. They must be stopped, or they will enslave the Mander people again. If you would help us, talk to the Sergeant Major in the Oasis. A unicorn! Okay. Give me these books. I want to know where you can get that unicorn. Majestic unicorn. Ah, Unavailable. That's so rude. What ho! Greetings, youngster. You must be one of those wizards from Wizard City. No, I'm from fucking Venus. Sergeant Major Sylvester Quimby Talbot III at your service. Order of the Fang? I think I heard Professor Winthrop mention that name. He and his crew are still excavating when they should be evacuating. Damn it's seven o'clock. <laughs> I've been streaming for almost five hours. You'll find Professor Winthrop inside the pyramid. Perhaps he has some information that can help you. And please, try to keep him safe. <laughs> More like Britain. Yeah. <laughs> what gave it away? <laughs> Come in, come in, watch your step. Things are a mess down here. You say you are looking for the Order of the Fang? As a matter of fact, I was just researching them when the crocs came to life and attacked. When the crocs attacked, my diggers and I had just found an ancient obelisk describing the Order of the Fang. We had to evacuate everyone. If only I could see rubbings of the inscription on the obelisk, I could learn more about the order. <laughs> the accent. I don't have an accent. Do you think you could make rubbings for me? You can find the ancient obelisk at the dig site in the royal hall. What are you on about? I do not have an accent. <laughs> Look there, wizard. It's a teleporter. Okay. If you use it, it will transport you to other teleporters on the street. You can get where Shut you up, go Gamma. quickly. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Don't shut up, Gamma. Don't care. I'm just... I'm going the wrong fucking way. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, right. <laughs> you make the rubbings. Yeah, I do not. 
I have an accent. I do not know what you're talking about. These rubbings are perfect. Let me decipher the text. Professor Winthrop studies the rubbings and grows frightened. My word. The Order of the Fang was a secret group of croc wizards who wrote a book of rituals called the Croconomicon, so the most powerful time, source of knowledge about life and death magic. The Croconomicon cannot fall to Malastair. Croconomicon. Perhaps this order has something to do with the crocs attacking us now. Did Malastair put them up to it? He has done similar work in Wizard it's City. We need to find out more. Wow. While I was running for my life from the croc attack, I saw Beatty Narini take an ancient tablet. He's the leader of the crocs in this area. Beatty Narini must have the answers we're looking for. To reach him, we'd need a key to his chamber. Our fighting men are trying to protect our archaeologist. Could you defeat Narini crocs until you find a croc carrying the chamber key and take it from them? That is unbelievably rude. <laughs> rude, but funny. Right. Oh, I'm at the wrong one. Is it due time in England? Uh, been and gone, my dude. That was about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> and I know it's lunchtime. For you, am I right? <laughs> but it's so nice to have someone to talk to, rather than me just talking to fucking no one. <laughs> you make shit so much easier, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right, what am I doing back to where I was? Right. It's close to dinner. Ah. Right. So what time is it for you then? <laughs> Are you hours ahead of me then? Or behind? Oh, it's three. Three! <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, to be fair, our family has dinner around um, five, half five, six. So. You found the chamber key. Well done. I had a, a delicious Mackey's dinner an hour and a half ago. Delicious. Our men here have their hands full fighting the crocs. The are Can you defeat Beatty Narini in his chamber? Claim the missing ancient tablet from him, and perhaps I can find out how this madness started. Beatty Narini? He just unlocked in this section. Oh, I can. Yeah, I know. What? 
You got it, Discord. Yes, I do. <laughs> Who doesn't at this stage, if I'm honest? You are not worthy of standing before me, wizard. Fall to the floor. Maybe then I shall show mercy on you. Um. Hang on. My Discord is wild1050. There you go. Because it would not let me copy and paste. with Discord in the past, but it doesn't want to work when I'm streaming. Was that the right way? Yes. <laughs> Christ. This person is still flying. Ah! Something. The ancient tablet! Now I can get the rest of the story on the Order of the Fang. Uh, okay, doggy. Oh, that sucks. Um... There you go. It said it worked, Professor so. Winthrop studies the <laughs> I ancient hope it was tablet. <laughs> the Order of the Fang opposed the evil Tuts. They planned to use the Croconomicon to put the Tuts to sleep, and we had to come round and wake them up. If only we had that book, we could set things right again. But where is it? I think the Order of the Fang still exists, hiding somewhere in Crocotopia. I want to find them. They must know where the Croconomicon is kept. We've discovered a map room that might help locate them. Unfortunately, it's located through the palace we can't get inside. My assistant, Malcolm Danforth, has been working on a way to enter the palace, but with all these tuts about, I'm afraid for him. Please help him. You'll find him in the excavation room in the Chamber of Fire. Okay. Oh, I leveled up. Wow, 11. Fuck, this is taking forever. I can not hear you. <laughs> God, doing three things at once. This is fun. I 
Um, unfortunately, I cannot hear you. <laughs> this is what I mean by my Discord being a pain in my ass. Um, excavation. Four people? Where did the other three come from? Hello. <laughs> what is going on? You're to help me find a way inside the palace? Excellent! Right, hang on. Um... Hang on, I'm gonna try and join you in the room. Alright, try and say something. I can see the thing light up, but I can't hear you. Uh, is it my setting? Okay. Oh shit, hello. Okay. Hey! <laughs> it's about time. It was my fucking settings. As far as I can tell, the palace requires a keystone to unlock the door. Yeah. I had the output. Gotta love Discord. I had the output de device wrong. <laughs> my partner Robert yeah. Lancaster has been searching for the keystone. At least you can switch it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you ever use Skype, but you couldn't really do that with Skype. God, Skype is fucking terrible. See if you can find him, while I see if I can't <laughs> whip up some other way in. I wonder if people still use that. <laughs> like Facebook, innit? Also, your voice is probably going to broadcast onto the stream if <laughs> you don't mind that. Yep, totally do. <laughs> you do mind or you don't mind? No, I don't really care. Alright. <laughs> Just for, uh, let like, you know. Alright. There you go. Oh, stuck on a candle. That's great. Oh, I have two people. That's rare. <laughs> <laughs> Better than talking to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Better now I actually have someone to talk to. <laughs> my, my. There are crocs everywhere. I tried to venture out to find the keystone and ended up running for my life. Tell Malcolm Danforth I don't have the keystone. But I did discover that a piece of it is buried in the dig site at the Royal Hall. Say, could you do us a favor? We've heard that once you defeat a flame servant, you are left with a small eternal flame. When Only our fires go out, this place is vampire. pitch black. You Some are. of those eternal flames would come in handy. You, you're you about three levels away from vampire. The spell. Oh. <laughs> My brain. Run along there. Too much whiz. <laughs> it's only like, what, 11 o'clock? that, Robert. He couldn't find the keystone, but he did give us a way to find it. So how's your high-ass level? <laughs> it's time to roll up your sleeves and dig into the dirt I, like a true It gets kind of repetitive, we need to be honest. Find that keystone. Repetitive how? <laughs> 
Um, well, kind of like here where you you accept a quest go and you randomly go to a for the missing mob, you fight it, kill it, the surface of the go to the next you boss. Have to dig around some. You pretty well use there? the exact same like two or three spells. Yeah, but at your level, it's over quickly. At my level, it takes like five fucking minutes. Where am I going? Royal Hall. Not well, there. it's it's a little more inconvenient for death and life because we don't get an AOE spell until level forty-eight. <laughs> That's fair. But death and life are easier to do when you're on your own. <laughs> Yeah, for the most part. Storm's not too bad, but it's known as... You keep cutting out, by the way. <laughs> out? What? <laughs> oh, I, I heard out. Oh yeah, you keep cutting out. <laughs> Oh. Uh, no. Yeah, Storm's like a glass cannon. <laughs> it, it has absolutely shit life, but it does like the most damage. Like, for instance, my friend's a level 170, and I have a 14 30 levels above me. All I heard was 170 and then robotics. Uh, I don't know why I'm robotic. Like you're, you're coming through mostly fine for me. Then it's your signal. It's your stream. I'm gonna blame it on your stream. <laughs> I have been doing this for five hours now. I'm just looking over at my stream platform. I know, my session is five hours, three minutes, and 40 seconds. Took you five hours to beat Wizard City. <laughs> to be fair though, I am. I usually just skip through the dialogue because I already know most of it. But because I'm doing it like a full on <laughs> playthrough, so. The viewers can see what the fuck's going on. It's taking me this long. And I had a lunch. Uh, a lunch yeah, I, I don't think I've read any of the dead log. <laughs> Do you not want to know what the hell's going on? I prefer the gameplay over the storyline. <laughs> Wonderful, you have the keystone you are a true archaeologist my friend i haven't been twiddling my thumbs either i learned i was questing with a friend and every time we would accept a quest palace, we'd have to stand mean? there for two minutes because he wanted to listen to the entire dialogue <laughs> there's only one thing to do and i'm afraid it's up to you that's fair enough. According to these inscriptions, the Nerini Quartermaster has the final piece of the keystone. You will have to defeat him in combat and get it for us. Can you do that? To be fair, I'm kind of doing the same to you. <laughs> I've got nothing else to do. That's fair I'm enough. I'm just waiting to teleport to the bazaar to check all the decorations, see if there's anything new. Ooh. Oh yeah. Do you know the level after Marleybone where it, where your part where you go like a another school and you compete with other students in a tournament? Wisteria. That's the one. Jesus Christ. God, like the first. Two hours or three hours of my stream, I was talking to someone else about it. She was like, oh, is it Mushu? And I'm like, maybe. It's been so long since I've played. But no, it's Wisteria. 
you know, Wisteria is like a side quest school uh, worlder. It's not really necessary, but that's as far as I've gotten. Do you have to go own. there to get cantrips? That's as... Wisteria is as far as I've gotten, and as far as I've run out of money. <laughs> Because I think Wisteria is the last place I bought something. I used crowns to buy the wall. Uh -uh. Which I think I bought almost everything all the way up to like level 30. And then uh, I went, you know what, I'm spending way too much crowns. Because there was an area that cost like 1200 crowns. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, just buy the potion buy the potion wait a minute yeah the, there's a one month prepaid potion for eight thousand crowns or you can buy it for like twelve dollars i think oh how the fuck did i not see that i am blind <laughs> Uh, it should be one of the, like, top row or something like that, or second row. Yeah. I've added one month prepaid timer. I've added it to my wish list. I'm going the wrong way. Uh... Fuck. Yeah, I've got about... Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got twelve things on my wish list. <laughs> I've seen the pets and the mounts. Mm. The very first time I played it, I had um like the very first time you could make your wish list like friends and public. The first time I did that, I put it as friends only because I thought no one's going to be that nice. And then um, a friend brought me a mount. Yeah. And then my account got hacked two months later and I had to make a new one. <laughs> and I played years and years ago and then lost my account because I can't remember the email or the fucking password or username, right? Oh god, yeah. Like, I was like level 40 something. It was the. That sucks. It was the black wings that I had. <laughs> and then my account got. Oh, yeah. I bought the owl for the permanent mount. But this account, I've done like 10 times better on it <laughs> than on my other one. Squirrel is just too fucking cool. You can get the Spellaments for it in Grizzleheim, or you can buy it through packs. It takes like 20 packs to be able to get it though. <laughs> yeah, I tried to. Um, oh, wrong thing. Where is it? Hang on, I'm looking at the shop again. The Horde Lord packs, where is it? Um, Professor Horde? No. The... where is it? Oh. I really hope it doesn't respawn whilst I'm trying to... Uh... No, I won't. As long as no one enters the dungeon. The one where you get the skeletal, there it is, the road, the road warriors pack. Yeah. Seven items. Is the, the bike, the mount, a permanent mount or a, one of them seven day ones? So every single pack has a, has the permanent mount, mm. but you can get it as a one day, a seven day or a permanent. And the permanent is completely random. Oh, I've like I got the 
I opened the fire gulchers. I opened 10 packs and I got the permanent fire gulcher. But then I've opened uh, Professor Hordes. I've opened so many of those packs. I've got one ice permanent. The rest are like nice. all 10. I've filled my bank with 10 mounts. <laughs> like I bought about three of the the Horde ones and got absolute nothing decent from it. I'm just like, well, what the fuck? You have brought us back some eternal flames. The Jolly only good. thing I think's worth I it is getting the lights the going out down here but any it's longer. not worth Thank it until you, like friend. level 140 or... Well, it's always worth it as soon as you, every 10 levels. But for death, you only really want the hat. Yeah. But I also really want the map. The hat. <laughs> Well, the the hat gives you a spell card called last, Masking, piece, and it'll apply that seventy five percent thing. You sure you're not the Marleybone? Here, let me put the pieces together for you. Baron if you know what thing there. is. Not now that we have the keystone, we not. must inform Professor. Head back to the entryway and tell you him get it around level twenty. It's been a pleasure think. working with you, even with and all these crocs. It's like us. a trap. Come find like, me. Your death trap gives you a plus thirty five damage on the mob. Well, faint costs one pip, and it does a plus seventy-five on the mob, and then puts a plus twenty on you. Right. Mass faint does a plus seventy-five on every single mob on, in the arena. So if there's four mobs, four faints go all around the entire area, yeah. and applies a plus seventy-five percent faint on yourself too. Is that? It's extremely overpowered. Hmm. It's like it's broken. Since it only just popped up on my screen, is the monstrology thing worth anything? Yes and no. It's better for I think it's myth, um, but you can get you can get the animus and make house guests. You can make uh, summon minion treasure cards, and I think there it's got like a special thing for myth where you get extra animus and you can have an easier time summoning the minions or something. I, I don't know the whole story, but <laughs> I don't work on it. Fair enough. <laughs> you and Malcolm found the keystone. Splendid. Ow, sorry, I smacked the microphone. <laughs> we have the key to the palace now. Go inside and yeah, help you can Lieutenant craft Spanish two different kinds of treasure room. cards, and you can craft a house guess. Like, the Lost Souls on Unicorn Way, yeah. I need 15 to make a house guess, so it's like a, a pet almost that walks around. Uh, I need 6 to make a Lost Soul treasure card, and I need 15 to get an Expel Monster treasure card, which basically just... As soon as you cast it, it just deletes the mob from the battle, I believe. <laughs> but you you need to beat it like ten times or something like that. It beat one mob ten times to be able to get it, so you can just expel them once. Fair enough. Oh, I can't sell anything to you. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> And then there is some crafting recipes that require certain treasure cards. And the only way to really get them is by crafting the treasure card with a monster animus. I think like like the knight like the bosses. Hmm. Um, I think there's like a gear vault or something like that that requires fifteen <laughs> of one your mob, help. twenty we'll of one mob, and thirty no of another all, mob. They're all bosses. Book. You basically have to fight them like freaking 300 times to be able to craft a gear vault. I know the bat mount, the one where you want like a smoky bat cloud. I know that one is a craftable yeah. one. And I I tried to do it like a month, like several years ago, and then I completely forgot about the game. And then I saw the <laughs> mount about a couple hours ago, and I'm like, oh yeah, that mount. <laughs> You there. You look like the archaeologist found magic. It's risky, but it just might work. 
I've been trying to stop myself from impulse buying the Order of the Hydra packs that just got released. So I really want that three-headed Hydra mount. What? <laughs> Four little packs. Oh, where is it? <laughs> What's the pack called? The Horde of the Hydra. It's under. I, it might. They might have just got rid of it. Little... I seen it when I opened up the launcher. But I haven't been playing in a couple days. I think they said they were removing it on the 24th, but I seen it this morning when I woke up. Open word. Tombstay. <laughs> yeah, I think they removed it. It was a buy, tw uh, you get 12 for the price of 10. Damn. And but it, it's an expired. It, it's a retired pack, so it doesn't. It's not actually on the under there. It's just something that comes out every now and again. That's fair. Why the fuck is the hairstyle even a thing when they don't give anything? That's just pointless. I I, I agree. <laughs> What's even stupider is one of the hats I have actually changes my hairstyle so it doesn't even matter what my hairstyle is it just <laughs> automatically changes it to something else it's like clothing bundles the only one is like you only get starter robes and robes that don't give anything it's like what's the fucking point the weapons though Look kind of interesting. Yeah, there's one wand that I wanted to get. Well, two actually. The veggie missile wand. It's a level 135. And it's literally just a carrot. Oh, I can't see that. Oh, I found it. <laughs> and then the dwarven crossbow. There's not really any crossbow wands. The two I don't have any gear to go with it. The two I quite would like is the Staff of Subjugar and where is it? Oh yeah, the Talon of Pestilence. <laughs> None of which goes with my thing, but they fucking look good. <laughs> The gear I'm wearing right now is probably my favorite. Oh my god, that is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> you have a trunket on the other side of your arm. <laughs> I've got a, like a piano as like a tie, I think it is. Yeah. Hang on. I'm gonna show you my very boring gear. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, disappointing. <laughs> it's real noob friendly. I have 19 hours left on my broomstick. God, I hate, <laughs> I hate the simple mounts. They look so shit. There's, like, I like the blue dragon for like 85k, but I, I've got quite a few mounts. I have. The broom and the camel that are only day mounts. Well, I have this one. Or where did you go? I'm over here. <laughs> As I said. Oh, the, the pumpkin. Pump. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, your sword's cool. Um, and then I've got the arrow glider. Nice. Uh... Willow Walker. Nice. <laughs> the Fire Gulcher. And then like the uh, first one off. facing the Majestic Crane. The Majestic Crane. Oh, the eyes on it. These are all perma mounts, too. The ones, as you know, that I quite like are on my wish list. <laughs> yeah. 
And then I've got a shit ton in my bank. A lot of them are the boring, like, pony mounts and broomsticks. Mm. There's a couple kind of interesting. But I, I, I want to save them for when I start another wizard and then yeah. I can match them to an outfit or I actually have them. I'm really tempted. Like, the rainbow... The rainbow... Um, teleport effect. I'm really tempted to just have that on my deaf character and to just fuck with people. They're like, oh! A light... of uh, uh, Fuck. A life wizard. Nope. Death. <laughs> I think I, yeah, I have three teleport effects. I have a cloud of suit. Uh, the life works, kind of like the death works, but life, and then the cherry blossom one. Uh, but I'm uh, sticking with the cherry blossom because I've been trying to, I've been feeling this ninja theme for a while. <laughs> nice. Right, um... Oh, since, uh, we're just kinda standing around right now, you should come check out my house, if you can actually get there. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, I've just marked my location, so... Right. I imagine you're gonna have to load everything in, because it's all gonna be boxes, but... <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> My game is like, wait a minute, let it load. Yeah. Right, retry. I can never get my pet past adult. <laughs> Ooh. It, it takes a lot. You need to start a couch potato farm. A couch potato farm? Yeah, they give uh, mega snacks when they're fully grown, and those mega snacks can give you like plus fifty towards your pet uh, leveling up, rather than like the plus five or whatever from the shitty small snacks. Wow, I love the crystal effect. This, this thing. The what effect? The crystal. This thing above here looks like. That thing from Minecraft that they have on top of the towers in the Ender Dragon <laughs> that you have to shoot. Oh, the end crystal? Yeah. <laughs> that came to my head as soon as I saw that. <laughs> oh. I'll be honest, I never even thought of it. What? I'm kind of surprised because I kind of know life that game for a long ass time. Oh my God. I'm kind of happy they don't keep track of your hours. <laughs> that is fair. Aww. Did everything load in or is it still boxes? Yeah. You have a wall of cards? Yeah. Uh, most people don't actually know this, but these minion summons, uh, like the storm, uh, like Brandon here. He was actually a Make-A-Wish kid that went to King's Isle. Aww. It's something that a lot of people don't know, but there's been four kids that went to make from Make-A-Wish that went to King's Isle, and they incorporated them into the game somehow, and every single one. I think three of them have NPCs, and actually, you know, I think all four of them have NPCs somewhere in the world. Aww. That's nice that they've done that. I like it when game creators do that. Yeah. I remember on my old account, I had the... Uh, like the dragon fire house. Like it's all the, the volcano-y type thing. Yeah. I don't remember what it's called, but I had that in my old, in my old, um, account, and I actually decorated it and everything, and now I just can't be bothered to decorate. 
It's time consuming. Yeah. Like, this looks amazing, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather just sell the, the gear. <laughs> well, uh, come teleport to this, uh, to my Red Barn farm. Oh. I spent over two mil gold, well over two mil gold making it. How do I get that? <laughs> and I, I've slowly just started dismantling it because I bought another house that I want to decorate and it's going to be Mushu themed. Yeah. And I stole all the ninja like stuff and like the Mushu themed stuff from the house. <laughs> like it's still fucking full, but. I got him loading. <laughs> My game had a heart attack. Well, let's see if you... uh, I'm just going to turn this red barn farm into a big uh, farming house. Yeah. <laughs> if you set up a, a plot like this, you can hit every single plant with one uh, farming spell. That way you're not wasting energy. Sorry, I somehow found a confetti cannon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Over here, I've got a button set up, so you hit it and every single confetti cannon goes off. Brilliant. Right, I'm gonna teleport back to my quest. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. At last! Once we use these, see that. Oh, I've got to defeat them all with the flame fox. What? I tried farming and then I, and then I forget about it and then it just die. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of tedious. You can't be gone more than like four days and let, uh, then if you are, your plants pretty well die. You can get treasure cards that will keep pests away for 48 hours or 96 hours. And uh, there's a few others. I think they might have a treasure card for every single one like that. So you can basically be gone a week and it, you won't lose all your pet, your uh, your stuff. But... Mm. Well... What? I'm always nervous because I, I work continental shifts, so there's like three days that I just don't get on at all. I, I'm always coming back thinking that my pet, <laughs> my uh, plants are dead. That my pet is dead. <laughs> yeah. No, my plants, because it, it takes 15 energy to revive one plant, and you only, like, I only have a hundred and something energy, so I can only revive like four plants. <laughs> only. <laughs> Wow, I did not die doing that. that. That's a first. Right. I was gonna say something and I completely forgot. Bless you? Or was that a dying cough? <laughs> a dying cough. A dying cough, alright. What can I say? I'm just dying inside. Me too. <laughs> Mm. 
One thing I did notice in this game, like all these uh, mobs, they all have their own schools. Like these are balance mobs. Yeah. There's actually very few life mobs. <laughs> um, if you go to Grizzleheim, there's a few. Yeah, it, like, like compared to every other school, I, I find that I'm fighting like a bunch of death or fire or ice way more than I am life. Yeah. But to be fair, when I first found the, the life in Grizzleheim and they healed themselves, I was just like, you fucking asshole. <laughs> now I know it, it's how... frustrating. Now I know how I, they feel. I feel? Yeah, no. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my ADHD is driving me nuts. So I chove you. I wish we had a whole brigade of <laughs> excuses, spells, excuses. like you. Excuses. <laughs> We won this battle with the Tots long ago. Cheers. It's so nice to actually have someone to play this with. Because not many people remember this game. I find it pretty relaxing and there's actually a lot of con content in it. Yeah. Hell, I've been doing this for five and a half hours. <laughs> Thanks for this. Yeah. I just hope and you've I gotten th say. through what, two worlds. Hey. I think I've unlocked like twenty worlds so far. Twenty. All right. It's e it's either sixteen or twenty or seventeen or twenty. I can't remember if it's five or six pages I have. There was one place... There's four worlds a page. There was one place I unlocked. Um, but I gave up doing it because I could not get past a certain level. And like, it was all ninjas. Ninja based. These artifacts had better work. Mushu These crocs probably. are amassing an army. The Nerini nobles just keep say there. Can you do me? A Would you be willing to go up against Mushu's them and write very down their strengths theme. and weaknesses as battle tactics? Hang you on. can't expect to go to war without it's all got, the like, paperwork. The Jay Dooney and like all kinds of other like stuff that's like ninja wielding. Yeah, I was gonna check, but then I thought it might not bring me back onto the same um, realm again. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're on the same realm I, I i can teleport to you oh <laughs> all right i'll do i'll check that after i've done this then <laughs> well you, you can even select what realm you want to be on to so that's fair i keep forgetting that's an option yeah It's so cute. Yeah, it's gotta be one of them. It is, yeah, it's my favorite spell, I have to say. The way it just crosses the Pops top four and tilts and... head, it's just, oh my god. I had a look at how much membership was. One month was like 10 quid. Six months was like 40 quid and 12 months was 80 quid. And I'm like, well, fuck. <laughs> I can't remember. I, th I think it, it's te technically cheaper if you buy it with the money. But if you buy 80,000 crowns, because it slowly starts getting a discount, like right now with the 25% off, if you buy the 80,000 crowns, it's technically cheaper crowns wise hmm. than if you bought $12 worth of crowns. Yeah. Like you get more bang for your buck. But then if you like saved all your crowns for every single month and you get like 10 months. 
Right, I'm pretty sure... Yeah. So my highest level is 23, and it's, um, a Thurgist. <laughs> Life school, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, let me have a look at my quests. Oh god, the yard birds. Right, hang on. Yeah, the so you can get the talent point. I can I can't find them damn birds. Right. Yeah, it's. It, it, I think there's one inside of a dungeon, and then the rest are spread out throughout. Oh, that's annoying. The world, and. Yeah. I think it's like that in every oh. single world, basically. There's like one inside of a dungeon somewhere, or at least one. I lied. My and then the rest is... are spread out. I lied. My highest is 33. I completely forgot about my balance wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna balance. Like, I'll make well, for a myth wizard, but like a second. Ah, yeah. Right. Hang on. Guess what I'm. Yeah, yeah, it is Mushu. <laughs> it is Mushu, but I can't get past anything on it. Right. Back to my death wizard. The beast moon rises. It is time for a great hunt to be. Do you have Marleybone unlocked too, then? Or click the gamma button at the top of the screen. Yeah. Um. You must have felt right at home in Marleybone. Wow. <laughs> wow. If I had a web, if my if I plug. If I have my webcam Thanks. on... Looks like the crocs are trying to break out of face. here. My face. I heard from Amanda that the Narini gained some of their power from flame gems they keep in the palace. <laughs> when you said that. You could go around to collect them. I'm sure their magical powers would be reduced. Well, it's very British themed. I am not that British. You sound very British. No. How am I supposed to get that... Fucking Ruby. Don't pull me in. Very carefully. Got it. Uh... I was half tempted to walk out there and pull you in. <laughs> I'm being an asshole. <laughs> Lieutenant, what's his face? Welcome back, young wizard! With the artifacts in place, we may have slowed the crocs down, but I can't just leave my soldiers out there. They'll be overwhelmed. My higher ups won't like this, but please, defeat some Narini warriors and Narini flame guardians. Give my soldiers a fighting chance. Oh my god. Wait, if you're not British, then you're Australian. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <sighs> that or New Zealand. I met someone from New Zealand the other day. So, you're American, aren't you? Canadian. Damn. I know you can't tell because I'm not very nice. <laughs> oh, that was the best response ever. <laughs> oh, 
What can I say? I like maple syrup. Ooh. Now I want some pancakes. Did you know 80% of the world's maple syrup comes from Canada? No. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever tried maple syrup and apple slices? That is fucking delicious. I haven't actually, surprisingly. <gasps> you should, it's nice. I was hungry and we I had- I prefer maple fudge. Ooh. I was hungry, and we had like apples and some other shit. I was like, you know what? I'll be healthy. But then I wanted something with it, so I got, <laughs> some, I got some maple syrup in a little jar, and I just sat there dipping the apple slices into it. And for about three straight weeks, it was my go-to snack. <laughs> for three straight weeks, it was that. <laughs> Oh, dear. Are you still able to hear me? Yeah. My Bluetooth headphones died, so I gotta switch my phone for a little bit. Oh, no. Yeah. You're like a little muffled, but it's fine. It just depends if I speak directly into my phone or if I speak towards my monitor. <laughs> Fair enough. I spent my current job is I I like my job, but it's shit at the same time because we're back to like contracted hours. And I spent the majority of my paycheck getting this gaming setup sorted. So I've got like the proper microphone, an extra monitor, headphones, webcam. But now I'm like, well, I don't have any anything left to use to get stuff for games. <laughs> Which sucks. Well, uh, I'm, my setup, it's, uh, like, I, I play on my bed. I have my monitor mounted to my wall so I can lay here and look right at my, my uh, monitor, Bluetooth keyboard and Bluetooth mouse, but oh. my mouse... It's not like a standard mouse where you actually move your hand around. You move the ball with your thumb, so I oh, my arms don't good. move. Yeah, it's an ergonomic one. Was, they were originally made by Log. Yeah, this one's made by Logitech too. Logitech. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's people find it weird that I'm playing with a ball mouse but then they don't really understand why I tell them that I move the ball with my thumb. <laughs> to be fair, where my setup... But then my... Hmm? <laughs> okay, my... And then what my device that I use, it's... I think they call it the Asus ROG. I've been calling it the Asus ROG, though. <laughs> it looks kind of like a supersized PSP. Ooh. Like, it's got... Um, like the thumb sticks and like the triangle, like an X bot, like the triangle square X and all that. Or no, the Y X B, like a Xbox controller. Yeah. So before I got my Bluetooth mouse, my keyboard and everything set up, I was playing Wizard 101 on freaking like joystick. Oh. I got in order to be able to type, I had I'd use a touch screen like my phone basically. It, it was really weird. I didn't think you could use a um, controller with this game. Yeah. 
it, it, you can surprisingly. But I had to like this. Uh, this device is actually set up uh, to be able to change the like the keybinds, so I can move. Like I could change the analog stick forward to W, sideways to A, and, like all that stuff. So I was able to like discard cards and click and all that. To be able to click, I had to press down on one of the analog sticks. That sounds very annoying. <laughs> It was tedious to set up, but the like two weeks later, I got a keyboard and a mouse so I could play games normally. That's decent. <laughs> Jesus, nearly six hours. It's fine. <laughs> I don't have work till Thursday. It's fine. <laughs> I, I work freaking continental shifts, so it's always two days on, two days off, three days on, three days off. Every other shift, the night shift. I used to do that. But then there's 12 hour shifts. I used to do 12 hour shifts, six till six in a factory. <laughs> yeah, I'm seven till seven. <laughs> you should try six till six. That will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's much different than 7 till 7. Because <laughs> I was 6 till 6, 3 on, 4 off, 4 on, 3 off. Huzzah, we oh, really that's the brutal. Box, what for? The salt, my... I don't know if I can manage that one. But the pay oh. was weekly. <laughs> uh, we're every two weeks. The one good thing is they pretty well allow all the overtime you want. So if you come in for a day, you get 12 hours overtime. If you come in for two days, you literally get 24 hours worth of overtime. Nice. To be fair, I wouldn't really want to go back to working in a factory if, if I can help it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't mind the factory work. But it's got its limitations. Yeah. What I keep seeing is your fucking tree. <laughs> it, your tree pops up when you mount up and when you mount <laughs> out and when you teleport. Yeah. Oh. Do you have steam? In some of the later worlds, the bosses get absolutely crazy. <laughs> like they, they start eating and everything. Literally, they, they cheat. Yeah. I have seen some cheating bosses before. In the yeah. Wisteria one, that boss cheated, and it took me fucking two months to beat that one boss. Of not two months constantly, but on and off. The, at, at the end of one of the worlds, there was a boss that had cheats that every time you would blade, it would summon a minion every time you would place a trap. It would summon a minion. Every time you healed yourself, it would summon a minion. Oh and God. the minions would last three rounds. And at the end of those three rounds, they each of those minions would do some kind of a cheat. Like the blade ones would hit you for like a thousand damage or something. The ones when you healed would hit yourself, hit uh, would uh, heal the boss for a ridiculous amount, and so on. God, fuck that. I was sitting. Oh yeah, it was you brutal. The and then if you sit in the battle warriors. too long, it God, just they Zeus, the boss one shots you for like ten thousand damage or favor. something like that. And I sat there for four hours Marini. in one battle, just trying to beat it. I, I ended up taking like a solid eight or more hours to beat this goddamn thing. 
it got and th- I, this is like three in the morning and i had no one on that could help me i tried team up no one was willing to come help me so i ended up buying max level minions to be able to help me in the crown shop and it still took me like a solid three hours to beat the goddamn thing God. you brought me these scrolls because one of the marleybonians thought they may be dangerous if they were left down there do you have the gaming platform Steam? Donna takes a look at the scrolls you hand to him. Of course. I mean, that's where I originally downloaded this, and then it makes you sign up the externally. Of I Hell see yeah. why they would not want these to remain in the pyramid. I will hold on to these for you and make sure they remain safe. We could totally do some games on Steam one day. Yeah. I haven't played too, too many on Steam lately. Like, I, I've downloaded Guild Wars, and I've got Lethal Company, oh, God, but yes. I haven't really played too much. I've got I've got a load of games. The recent one is Lethal Company, but I haven't played that yet because I wanted to wait until I had people to play with, and then I could stream it. <laughs> it's... it. I, I've seen a little bit of the gameplay. I've played, like, a few hours of it. Let's see, what's my? Not, I don't think even in a few hours. Where are my statistics on on it? Yeah, Twenty nine minutes. Twenty nine minutes. Yeah, I, I understand how to play. I've seen people like recording it and stuff, so I understand it a little bit. Yeah, I've but... seen people do that as well. Now, Wizard 101, I've got like you may have seen the 600 and something the hours Rini, in the game so but far. But the next thing you will see is me celebrating my victory. And that's why I'm happy that Minecraft didn't track my hours. I played that game solid every day, worse than Wizard 101 for like a solid eight years straight. Honestly, yes. Did you know that they you wouldn't surprise me if I had like 50,000 hours in it? Did you know they now have add-ons in Minecraft? Yeah, I, I'm very frustrated. I, I was going to go black, back and play it, and then I realized that at the end of last year, they had the whole migrate accounts again. And if you did migrate your account, they fucking deleted your account. <laughs> well, if you have one or the other, you can get the other one for free. Yeah, I have. I bought it on my phone again, so I might be able to transfer it over to the PC somehow. Mm. But I haven't tried. I'm gonna boss if you want to come help. <laughs> oh, sure. I teleported to the wrong person. I hope they're not in a battle. Oh, I nope, they drink. weren't. I just realized <laughs> the thing says ducks underneath your name. Oh. Five hours and fifty five minutes. That's my longest session yet. Yeah, I don't think I could stream. <laughs> I struggle to stay awake that long on the days I'm off. <laughs> Who says I'm awake? <laughs> So, I think it was last week, I seen someone streaming on Twitch, yeah. and every time he got a follower, he would shotgun a beer. He would what, a beer? He would shotgun a beer. Shotgun a beer, okay. Like, every single time. So, he, uh, he got like seven or eight followers in the time that I was watching him. Every single follower. He would just he would open up a can, poke 
poke a hole in it. Well, yeah, open the can, poke a hole, in it, and you just drink the entire beer in one go. Nice. That was just in the time I was watching him. <laughs> he had a freaking uh, a big ass dinner plate next to him. He just kept on piling the cans on. Technically, should sell this shit, but I keep feeding shit to my pet in the hopes that I have to do something. I mean, you can quick sell it. Oh yeah, that's a thing. You're further off going to the bazaar, though. To be honest, so you get more gold that way. Yeah. I keep forgetting, though. You were able to collect enough of the flame gems to diminish the Narini's powers? And oh, there is a tired. shortcut to go to the buzz the bazaar. I think it would be most if you were in the crown shop, there's the loyalty the store underneath it. Like in the first section, if you click there and teleport to the loyalty vendor, he's in the shopping district. The loyalty vendor? That's a member thing, though, isn't it? Yeah, the, well, I don't know if you have the button or not, if you're not a member. No. I, I think you you should still have the button. You don't? No. You say you want me to hang on to these flame gems so that the Narini will not be able to use them against us? Of course I will. I know it's like In right fact, on the I'll daily spiral right above like, where it shows the crown sure by crown. Safe. Oh. The bottom left hand corner. Oh yeah, I can see the lo the loyalty store. But... Yeah, if you, if you teleport to him, he's in the shopping district. Yeah, I've done that before, but I can't do anything because I'm not a member. So I don't have any loyalty points. Yeah. I, I would use him whenever my inventory is full. I would just teleport to him, like mark my location and teleport to him. And then that way I'd have a shortcut to the bazaar and be able to sell stuff. Hmm. I've got a couple loyalty points, but there's nothing there that I really want to get. Well, is there anything good? <laughs> Um, for 12 points, you can get a permanent mount, Ooh. but to be a member for, I think you have to be a member for about six months to be able to get that many points. You I got, I'm a loyalty tier three, glad you so I got here. three I points this month, favor. so I, shall put you out of your misery. I can get like three packs or like three nine blueprint tokens or three gold keys cool. there's not really anything that worth it in my opinion <sighs> right, i'm staying i think i want the last crocotopia thing i'm too tired to keep track The last boss? I think so. Definitely not. I can promise you. <laughs> Alright. Like, may maybe in this section. But then there's also the Croco Sphinx outside and. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a couple more areas at least I know of. It's been too long. <laughs> it's been too long, my brain is melting. <sighs> I can't remember which world it was. I think it was Chrysalis that I was in. It had like 300 quests to go through. Oh my god. It took like a week for me to do it.
That's a long ass time. Yeah. Of like seeing I was playing this yesterday on a different character and I was like passing through the commons and like I was seeing this person just spam in the thing and go can someone buy me membership can someone gift me membership can someone gift me this can someone gift me that and I'm just sat there thinking <laughs> what the fuck stop asking people don't be a rude little yeah, it... gremlin. <laughs> gremlin. Yeah. <laughs> Thus begins the draining of your strength. Yeah, I... And the restoration of my glory. Well, I had one guy who wanted me to buy him uh, mega stack packs, which are 2,500 crowns each, by the way, yeah. in exchange for um, power leveling me up to like a level, to like max, max level really quickly. Scam. <laughs> I'm like, and it, technically it's p possible. All they do is they get a team of like two or three people that help you, and then they they have a special order of dungeons that they go to, and they start, start low and then slowly work their way up through all the worlds, and they just teleport you into the dungeon. When you complete the dungeon, even if you have it unlocked or not, you get the XP for it. And sometimes, like, you can get, like, 60,000 XP, 100,000, 150,000 XP from completing dungeons. Yeah, but if you don't have that area unlocked, how can you, so you get can... to the dungeon? Well, if you have member, I guess. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it, this I really hate it when my spells just fizzle. I need it to not, Yeah. I need it to not do that. <laughs> Better than Storm. Storm is really like rolling dice. You have no idea if you're gonna hit someone or something or not. Freaking yeah. seventy percent accuracy. <laughs> Look at an angry baby. I think I've got like a hundred percent accuracy for my spells. I have. How do I check that? Um. Yeah, I have fifteen percent bonus accuracy, and when my spells are like not eighty to ninety percent, I, I have. I'm almost guaranteed. <laughs> I have a whopping 5%. Not bad. <laughs> it's terrible. Your spells are like 85 accuracy. So it brings you up to 90. You were like able a, to get all the data I needed on the enemy? Spell. Brilliant. Now I can come up with the best tactics for us to use. With this data, we're certain to defeat the Tuts. I got a wand, but I need to be level 20 to actually use it. But then it will take away my accuracy as well. Oh. So the only thing it would give me is um, one of them zero pip spells. Like yeah. Just shoot one of them like little fire blasts. But if I equip it, I won't have any accuracy. I'm well. I mean, my wand doesn't give me any accuracy. Mine does. Gives, mine. Mine gives me pretty well everything else, but. <laughs> mine gives me five percent accuracy and then extra spells. I have 74 block rating, 6% life pierce, 111 life wand rating, 22 life damage, 192 life conversion rating, oh uh, 126 storm conversion rate, or storm
storm wand rating, Earth 17 rate storm power. damage, and a power pip. Plus Report my life wand spells, life mash crap, light storm mash shield, and a may cast dryad. Damn. Wait, is there any wands for death? Yeah, they're... Let's see here. I'm gonna go to my house and check. I was looking at this thing. The I believe I have like a, a higher level death swan that's pretty decent. No, that's not it. No. Yeah, Headmaster's Doom Staff. Uh, it's basically the same thing as the one I have, but pretty well all like death stats. Ooh. Um, and then it gives a mass ice shield, a mass death trap, what um, level is that? a may cast monster mash. What level is that? <laughs> it's a level 140. I think it's like right around level 90, you start getting the May casts on the wands. Okay. I was looking at You the recovered shop. the key? Oh my, this is a red letter. Yeah, it's we can get inside in the, the map Professor room Hordes pack. The order of the I have so to gather some notes and then I'll meet you it. inside the map room. See you there. So. You think you are worthy to enter the throne only for you can replay this dungeon, allowing you right. to gain additional unique loot, but only if you survive. I am gonna go into a dungeon at some point when I get there. Right, it is this way. I just changed my uh, amulet. I've been using the exact same one for over 50 levels. <laughs> Do you want to join me in this dungeon? I suppose. <laughs> Give me something to do. You are about to enter a dungeon. Yeah, yeah. If you log out or... Oh, man. <laughs> You're about to enter a dungeon. If you log out, go away. So what quests do you have to do then? This is one of the longer dungeons. Yeah. There you are. According to my notes, the Order of the Fang used magic to hide their location. Only by using a... There! That slot must be where the Serpent Staff would go. And I remember... Oops, I'd rather not... You would find my group. Could you go down the hall and battle no Prince Manu Nerini for the Serpent Staff? We must set things right. Well, now if you got off your wand, you can actually hop in my pumpkin. Well, on it. Pop him, my pumpkin. <laughs> You're the second person that said that to me today. What, like, <laughs> hop on my pumpkin? Yeah. And you're also the second person today to actually add me through the stream. <laughs> I wish I could actually see your quest normally. Like these dungeons, I actually get the quest line so I can see where to go. Yeah. <laughs> I 
None shall pass flames. through the door unless all the braziers burn with red flames. Is that red or pink? There's red. red. This looks so stupid, but I love it. <laughs> what? I, I'm stupid? No, me on the back Who of the pumpkin. there? You shall pay for disturbing yeah. me, young wizard. I love it, but it looks so daft. Oh, parchment paper in the corner. At this point, I'm just gonna keep going until I get bored. That's ultimately what happened with me. My friend and I were questing and I got burnt out and he just kept going and now he's level 170. And Jeez. I'm like 30 levels behind him. Alright, hang on, I wanna grab this paper. <laughs> I think I need it for something. Oh shit, I didn't even notice you weren't even on my pumpkin anymore. <laughs> I guess it's because you got pulled in before me. Uh, I got off and um, went to pick up something. Ah. Uh. Where the two suns shine, the way will be clear, but not if there is any moon shining. And you lost me. <laughs> yeah, I'm headed back to talk to the guy. Um, I already did the other thing. <laughs> It's no use. The stuff. Profet. Good work. Now to use the staff. We'll soon figure out the order's secret location. Wait for me. I don't know if you're just lagging a little bit behind her or what, but or maybe I am. Oh, who knows? I'm gonna have to hop in this dungeon to farm these ores. I need so many of them. <laughs> You will test your might against me, and you will fail. Why even try, weakling? <laughs> why try? Because I can. That's why. I'm not gonna press X. Yeah, you gotta throw crowns in it to open it. I don't recommend doing that. Where does this arrow want me to go? <laughs> it lo 
loops around, don't worry. <laughs> You do as the professor says <laughs> and shout the ancient a bright the light of flashes, stream just went off the into the pit. The map you've done I think that was it for this dungeon. It uh, says to talk to him at the altar of kings. Is it out this door? Because I don't have an arrow towards it anymore. Yeah. Go on. Okay, yeah. Splendid. I didn't want to leave the, the dungeon in case it was Since in there. Since you defeated Croc and Common and Prince Manu Narini, you deserve the honor of discovering the Order of the Fang. Jesus, it did not want me to leave. My God. Is it telling you you're going to lose your progress if you leave? No, it just wouldn't let me leave. I had to click the question marks on the corner of my screen to finish what he said. I'm in the altar of king. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Excellent. We finally know where the Order of the Fang is. Now we can find them. Get the crocodile. Now that we know where to find them, go speak with Sergeant Major Talbot by the lake outside. Tell him we may have found a way to set things right again. Oh my god. What ho! The Order of the Fang may have the secret to defeating the Tatsi, and it's an old book. Indeed, we must ensure that book does. Their inner lair must be explored at once. There is no time to set the up next ferries to the, death me. the boat's there in front of me. Take it across to the island. I hope you find this lair where the Order of the Fang hides no. out. We could use some good news. I need to be 16. He's level 4. 16? Uh, yeah. Uh, the black set where it said 14. Uh. Excuse me, wizard, but one of my workers desperately needs your help. The dungeon in Old Town is for level 15 wizards. You can still do it at higher levels, but you may find more rewarding challenges elsewhere. I'm at the balance school. Green. 
greetings. Welcome, stranger. I am Professor Alasred. If you seek the Order of the Fang, you have found it. What brings you here? You tell Professor Al has read about your search for Malastare. I have, I have seen a question no Malastare, but I know why he sought us. Long ago, we wrote the Croconomicon. With the power of life and death, he could spell disaster in the wrong hands. What quest did you get from him? Um, a quest to talk to Zeke. Zeke. Before I say more, yeah. you must earn the Order's trust. Please go to the Krakow Sphinx. Seek out Shalik the Wise and heed his words. Oh, I have to talk to Sh Shalik the Wise. <laughs> Whoever the fuck that is. <laughs> This doesn't look creepy. Greetings, wizard. So, the professor wants to test you. We are the ones being tested. We Able put the to cats to again? sleep, but yeah. now our work is undone. Okay, I switch back my headphones. Oh, okay. They will try to enslave everyone. We must reunite the Order of the Fang. Earn our trust by helping us. While Al Hazred and I remained awake during the Great Sleep, mm. other members of the Order of the Fang did not. If you are sincerely here to help, now is the time to seek them out. I only hope he has not suffered for his bravery. Go find the Mander Rami in the Hall of Champions. Rami can help you find Kaba. Okay. Did you need um, a stone block or was it something else you needed? I hope you've come to help, young wizard, because this place is swimming with tuts. You are not the only one looking for General Kaba. The tuts are looking for the Order of the Fang, and I fear we may be detected. We must slow them down before they find the General. Surely a powerful wizard like yourself can take out their minion, the Sphinx Sakwi. The Sphinx what, ma'am? Where am I going? I'm on a biscuit bag. Yeah. <laughs> well, you disappeared then for a minute. Yeah, my dad came in and asked me if I wanted a chocolate bar. <laughs> you sharing? 
Oh, I got a chocolate bar. <laughs> nice. I just realized I have a thousand health. <laughs> nice. Moving up in the world. Slowly but surely. Alright, I need to defeat two more of these things. Oh, so, okay. Oh, someone just whispered hi to me. One thing that does suck at being a higher level, you start, you, you stop learning spells. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like, there's like nothing to really look forward to per se. Like, you can try and unlock some spells that don't that aren't really in the quest lines. Yeah. Like the qual, I think, and the, well, for life anyways, like the koala and the raccoon and a few others. Like the squirrel. <laughs> the squirrel. I just realized that every single spell that's not in the quest line is a different animal. Like there's Pigsy, that healing pig that you seen earlier. There's a raccoon, there's a squirrel, there's a koala, mm -mm. Um, there's a mouse. A goat. A goat? Yeah, a goat monk. Oh. You can craft the spell, I believe, in Mushu. Fair enough. Not a very great spell, but it's still a spell. I'm gonna make a guesstimate on how old you are. <laughs> a guesstimate? Yeah. I'd say 23-24. Surprisingly close. Higher or lower? Higher. 25. Yeah. Damn. Alright. Did this do... I can't even guess yours. I, I want to say you're definitely younger than me, but... <laughs> go on, give it a go. Well... You've worked multiple jobs, one being content, like a continental shift, 12 hours. Uh, I'm going to say 22. Correct. <laughs> you are correct to wonder. I should go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> go for it. So, General Kappa is I mean, it was a bullshit guess. Now. So far, you are as great and powerful like I, I knew it was like the... 16 or 17. I didn't we must get think before he it... tricks the hmm? general into revealing himself. We shall see if you can defeat Nekbet in his chamber. Ow. Well, I, 
Well, I knew it wasn't that because one, you've worked multiple jobs. Yeah. So, unless you've only worked at a place like a month or two months, because mm-hmm. you're only eligible to work at a certain age, and typically, people that just starting in the workforce don't work twelve-hour shifts or do continental shifts, <laughs> let alone factory work either. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I will be 23 this year. And I can clearly tell from your voice that you're not older than me. Fuck you. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, it's pretty obvious. Well, if you actually heard what my voice is like in real life, it's kind of deep. Kiss that confidence goodbye as you see how little you are. What, are you calling yourself manly? Ish. <laughs> Manly-ish. I, I, I would consider my voice a little bit deep. Yeah. A little bit. With a Canadian accent. I tell you, totally. <laughs> totally, eh? Yeah. <laughs> How's that snow? Considering you thought I was American. Well... <laughs> the only people I ever seem to make friends with are in America. Fair enough. I don't think I've really met many Canadians online, surprisingly. Yeah. Majority of the people do come from America. The majority. Met a of handful of handful of people from the UK. I think two people from Australia. I just I find it funny how you said the majority of people come from America. Well, it, you never find people from China or Korea because of all the censorship that they have on the internet. <laughs> Bye. And then majority of the other countries, Drop people don't have enough I'm money sorry, to play I'm online. But I never thought I'd see They work for an 18 hour day. I must stay. Oh, I'm going and then... back and forth. <laughs> oh, some mountains. I met one person from New Zealand the other day. Yeah. I think that's the first time I ever met someone from New Zealand. Well, you're the first person I've met from Canada. <laughs> Nadia. Yeah. You bear the seal of the Fane. Tell me, wizard, what events occurred during my great slumber? You tell General Kaba. If only we... I t- if we are to defeat the Tuts this time, I'll need my coin of destiny. Please Your coin help of me destiny? recover my strength by destroying that soul scavenger nearby. Coin of destiny? Yeah, this... Dude wants his coin of destiny. Hand him a quarter. <laughs> Are some mounts faster than other? Because they used some mounts used to be faster than others. Or did they change that? Uh, well, what mounts? Yeah, like some used to be faster than others. There's uh, three speeds that, well, four actually that I know of. There's a Valentine's Day balloon, like a hot air balloon. Hmm. It's got a twenty percent mobility. Uh, most of them are forty percent. The aeroglider I showed you earlier is a 50%. Damn. 
I know there's one single mount that there's a 60% and there's developer mounts that I think that are like 90%. Wow. I wouldn't quote me on that. The developer gear is just broken and it's impossible to get. Literally. <laughs> you can set up your wizard so you have like a... Uh, it's like a 69% uh, mobility that you can increase yourself hmm. by equipping uh, boots and the fastest mount, and I think there's something else you can do too to increase your speed. Yeah, I'm just getting stuff for like level 20 plus that I can't fucking use. <laughs> I'm level 15. Well, the good news is once you hit that level, you'll be able to instantly equip it. Yeah. Don't have to grind for anything. I mean, I'm almost level 16. I have two and a third bar. You can always head to the bazaar and grab an amulet. That's true. With this coin in my possession, I can feel my. We must prepare for. Amulets are already always nice. For safekeeping. You give, they always give you a card that you can use. Yeah. I know I've like not only eaten, well, I've eaten like a couple of hours ago now, but I really do with another Mackie. <laughs> Honored one, I'm afraid that all I have left of the sword is this. Please take it to the great gym. I want sushi. Sushi? Yeah, I love sushi. I've only ever eaten um, vegetarian sushi. I don't like fish. <laughs> oh, I I love sushi. Like I there is a restaurant that's in my local town, and it's an all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant. Ooh. It's actually kind of cool. They give you a tablet, and you just select what you want, and they bring it to your table. No dealing with a waitress taking your orders or anything. <laughs> And it's the same throughout the entire menu. meal. Whenever you want something, you just click it on the iPad and they, they bring it to your table five minutes later. Yeah. Uh, I, I ate nine rolls of sushi. <laughs> I've seen, like, them rice things you can get um, to mold your rice. And I've seen so many duck ones. I'm like... I want to get that just so I can make duck rice. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna grab my spell card. Cause I'm level 16 now. Nice. And that'll be the last time you're coming to this guy. I'm gonna be going to the other. As they school. say, knowledge yeah. is power. What's there? Search around the graveyard for where the elder seer is buried. Remember. A graveyard wouldn't scare a death student. At least not a brave one. Now I've got to go to a fucking graveyard. i got to go to the haunted cave. What are you smacking? <laughs> What, me? Yeah, all I can hear is banging in the background. <laughs> that is my mother ba breaking a bag of ice because she likes to chew on ice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised that you can hear that, actually. <laughs> I have sonic hearing. <laughs> I didn't think my microphone could pick it up. <laughs> I 
have... Like, can you hear this? Here. Like, my vape? Or was it the banging? The vape. Shh. Oh. <laughs> I just have great hearing, what can I say? <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> well, for one thing, I can Did say... you hear my parrot? You what? My parrot. Your parrot? He yeah. just screamed a... Yeah, yeah, he just screamed a second ago. Shh. There. Yep. <laughs> Aw. You have to show me what your parrot looks like. <laughs> That sounded weird, but I'm sticking with it. He's green. He's green? <laughs> yeah. Like, grass green. Is he a McCall? An Eclectus. Ooh. About the same size as an African Grey or a Cockatoo. Aww. He's got about the same intellect, too. Like, he can talk and all that. He's not very old. He lives till, like, 60 years or so. Damn. He's only, like, five or six, I think. I've got... Doing pets, I've got two cats. <laughs> I've got five dogs. Lucky. Yeah. Five boxers. <laughs> yeah. We had two, and then they had a litter of puppies, and then we kept three out of the litter. Aww. I'm talking to a ghost Welcome, right now. Student of the Death School, I shall now bestow some Fun. knowledge from the beyond upon you. Train well. I was gonna say something to you and then I completely forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. Like the first three to four hours, I can't remember what hour you came in, but like the first three to four hours is what? just me talking to myself because the person who I was originally talking to disappeared. So <laughs> the first three to four hours are completely boring. And oh, someone just sent me a friend request. Melody Zen Song, level 35. Um, is this someone else watching who's sending me a friend request? Let's find out. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I, I, I was listening to your stream and I don't think you even noticed you had a viewer. I'm like, <laughs> She's talking to herself. In order to grow I'm just sitting there laughing. You what? When I first tuned into the stream, you were sitting there just kind of talking to yourself. Uh, I was I was laughing <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one's gonna tune in so that if they just see gameplay, are they? True. To be fair, I usually have my webcam on, but I couldn't be bothered today. Hmm. I'm not a death student out of you yet, but you have to really bone up on your studies. <laughs> An old death school gym. So I hope you're ready for your next spell. Since you cannot perform combat here in Ravenwood, go see Kirby Longspear on Colossus Boulevard. I trust Kirby to rate your fighting skills. Oh my god, now I have to go to some guy called fucking Kirby. <laughs> so what made you want to 
Um. I'm not gonna even fucking go there yet. For fuck's sake. Where'd my fucking mouse go? <laughs> this is why I die. But there it is. Found it. So what made you want to do a Discord then? I was bored. <laughs> Fair enough. What, you were bored of listening to someone talk to themselves? It's also easier to communicate. Yeah. Instead of typing in chat and then waiting like 45 seconds for you to actually see the message and... And then wait 30 Is seconds it... more to type in next response. Oh well, yeah, that's, that's exactly it. I send the message and then I, I can see the chat pop up, but... It takes like 30 seconds for it to pop up, and maybe another 5 or 10 seconds for you to see it, and <laughs> respond, and then... And and then like it's like a minute below. between each message. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, you an asshole, that was... And I just wanted to be in the stream of a popular streamer. <laughs> Popular? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> World's <laughs> least popular, yes. Well, every single popular streamer was that unpopular streamer at one point. That is true. To be fair, I like streaming when I have someone to talk to. And like, do a game with. Otherwise, I, I'm struggling. <laughs> like, I, I, that's what, for me, I was struggle with because I, I can't talk to myself. I, I, I would be the guy in the stream just sitting there, just gaming, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't be talking half the time. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I forget and like, I'm like, oh shit, I need to say something. <laughs> Yeah. Because at, at one point... Well, I, I'm horrible at filler conversation. Exactly. Oh, I need to move again. It's probably because I was an only child. Uh, me too. <laughs> only child goals. <laughs> Yeah, sitting in absolute silence. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Learning to play games by yourself. Oh yeah, Mario Party on the GameCube, absolutely <laughs> fire when you have no one to play it with. <laughs> <laughs> It just dance when you're on your own. <laughs> so yeah, I like 100% prefer gaming with a friend and talking to them because then that's not just me trying to talk silence when I don't have many people, if at all, watching to talk to. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like, at the minute, it says one person watching, but I doubt that's even anyone. <laughs> Mm, these will do nicely. It's, your own, it's yourself opening your own stream. It's like the most people I've had whilst doing this is four people. 
like an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> like four people came, three to four people came in like a couple hours ago with like a couple hours gap in between, but they didn't stay long. Every day, I at least once or twice a day when I'm playing this, I usually just open up Twitch and see what people are actually doing in the game. <laughs> I find it a little bit more entertaining watching people that are kind of in the beginning stages of the game rather than watching people that are in like Wallaroo or one of the later worlds. Yeah, <laughs> is that why you tuned in some libel shit? <laughs> What's that? Is that why you tuned into my bullshit? <laughs> oh, a little bit. <laughs> you just saw basic. It's like, yep, let's have a look at that. <laughs> Thanks for the f Welcome to the battle. <laughs> yep. I didn't even think Wizard mm. Wizard 101 was even a category on Twitch. Yeah. There's never very many people streaming it. Like, I think today was one of the more popular days, and there was 275 viewers. And one of them was a guy that had, like, 120 people watching. Wow. And he, I don't think he, well, he doesn't actually play Wizard 101 because he was in Unicorn Alley. Or Unicorn Way or whatever. Uh. He just started playing. And it didn't seem like he was going to stick to it very long. No. I just need to kill one more spider. Uh. It really, it's really noisy when you just see people just spinning in circles. <laughs> yeah, I see them trying to stop the anti AFK kick. Yeah. Oh, I got the croco- I got part of the Crocotopia set. Wow. Those, uh, armor- like, the actual sets, you have to quick sell them if you want to get rid of them. You, you can't sell them in the bazaar. I hate how those mobs enter late. I know. And I have to wait an extra round. <laughs> so there, there is a wand that you can get, I think it's like at max level, and instead of it giving you a power pip, it gives you two Two regular pips. Okay. Yeah, I think that's just so much better. <laughs> that way you can use like elemental blades and feints, like one pip spells instead of using a power pip for it. At the minute, I'm just like trying to get a higher level. <laughs> I mean, you've done like almost 20 levels in a day so far. Yeah. What is that shield thing that your pet does? It's a may cast spell. I think it's fortify, and it it's um, it's like a shield. In a way, it's it's an aura that stays around for four turns, and it just 
gets rid of uh, 15% of the damage. And then the spell that like, gets cast at me. Ah. So I always wondered what the fucking point was. They have the auras because in the later world yes. you can't actually use do. blades. Work. The 35 blades and the 45 blades. Because the mobs, the they constantly cast like, like earthquake or they have cheats that will remove your blades. Did you know so they have auras that will reduce damage or increase your damage for four turns. I have a few different auras. They're astral spells. So it's a completely separate school from everything else. One gives me 40% outgoing damage, but then I take 30% more damage. There's another one that uh, uh, plus 25% outgoing healing for four rounds. Yeah. There's a up, plus 20%. Shh. been there. Yes, I'm still shooting. Oh my god, why one? Seven hours. Seven hours. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> I've made a Canadian friend. You made a, Cana a Canadian? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> this is Andy, by the way. He can't hear you, but you can hear him. I'm I'm Andrew. Andrew. I'm Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> the profile pic is awesome. What profile pic? Profile pic. That profile pic. Uh, yeah. Is that yours? Yes, it's mine. What? You changed it? Oh, it is yours. You're not a wolf anymore. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> it's on Discord, not. Is it? Have you it ever is. watched Bugs Bunny? I'm having a strong. Bugs Bunny? What? Yep. Yes. That yeah. Was goofy. <laughs> <laughs> he read my mind. Yeah, I was going to say he sounds like Goofy. I'll be Tim. <laughs> you got any maple syrup? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Sorry. Yeah. You just pull it out of my back pocket. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> I made a friend. Canadian. <laughs> I dropped the I've rest I've never of... met a Canadian before. That's a lie. Canadian. Oh my god, you know what that means? When I go to meet my Canadian friends, I'll drag you with me and you can meet your Canadian friend. <laughs> <laughs> I gave. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I feed. <laughs> Okay, I will scram this and I'll... Oh. Are you watching your wedding program? Wedding program? Excuse me, it's full of tea and <laughs> juiciness <laughs> and some violence and a lot of pointy fingers. <laughs> okay. In answer, yes. <laughs> that is the answer, yeah. He likes to talk, doesn't he? Muzzle your woman. You what? Muzzle your woman. It's muzzle you. He loves talking. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking to my mother at the minute. Is... He would make a great streamer. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he does stream. <laughs> he streams more than me. I'm guessing he doesn't stream Wiz then? Not yet, no. Not if I have anything to do about it. You just have to make it up to max level so you can make fun of him for being a low level. <laughs> I don't want to be sad. No! 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 Wait, did the old people... I not die, not make it. <laughs> I meant not make it, but still die. <laughs> the day to get blown up. No. But, but the KFC man and the lady. 
the no, fuck? Then Lee looks like the KFC man. <laughs> are you like... still on about your fucking wedding program? Yes, bitch. What else are we gonna talk about <laughs> other than work? <laughs> to be fair, what else do we talk about other than work? Uh, this is our thing. I'm bonded to <laughs> my mother. Be happy. <laughs> we have a thing. <laughs> oh, right, like, because we've got deadliest catch and games. Yeah. And <laughs> Fuck you. <yeah. laughs> it's all right. Oh, did you? At least you don't have to have your picture up since you didn't get nominated. <gasps> exactly. Oh. Uh. Sounded like a frog. A frog? What? Yeah. That burp. Oh, like oh, in the area. <laughs> that caught me off guard. <laughs> like, that's a sentence. <laughs> I need to get them. Well, well done for that. <laughs> Which way was the Hall of Champions? This way. Is your photo off? It's <laughs> <laughs> mine. Oh, I need to take a photo of mine. If I <laughs> remind me, remind me tomorrow before I leave. Take a photo of my of my photo that's on the wall. I'm just stood there like, <laughs> all right, spanner. Where is this last fucking gem? I think the gems respawn. There is. There's one over here. <laughs> That's so good. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, these will be good. Phil, now, I require something to wrap around the hilt for a good grip. Oh. The hall servants should have some leather straps. Those should do well. Okay. Really? <laughs> Did you tell him about the interview? Yeah. Um. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Facebook to find a photo of me that just find memes. I won't even lie, they find really bad memes. Oh my god! <laughs> you do know all of this conversation is being captured in my A phone call and B stream. Oh shit, I forgot we were live! Hi live! I knew it was you. Anyway. <laughs> Live to who? One person and my friend? Yeah, that's still a <laughs> massive audience, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> yeah. You should have somehow bought your PlayStation. Do a two hour stream before I go to bed. My PlayStation! Nah, look, I would, but that would mean I'd need to put it in my bag. And then that means I'd need to. Oh, I'd need to go up so many extra flights of stairs, put it in the locker to make residents don't nick it. 
Bro, and we've got one lady who abs- Sorry, something Excellent. went across your screen and then went These across the other screen. <laughs> it was like the perfect run. Anyway. Yeah, we've got one lady who now is a hoarder. To forge the blade, By the way, that lady. Aji Sakui guards the frozen room. forge. We, not me, he a will need a key to unlock the entrance to his lair. Defeat his guards, the Sakui crushers. The one of them the must room have a key. Was from decay and mold. Ew. Yeah, everyone who went into a room gagged. I walked in and went, that smells familiar. I know what that is. <laughs> I used to live like a slob. <laughs> so I know exactly what that is. That's gross. Ew. Yeah, remember when I lived with Ren? Yes. It got bad, dude. She never did the washing up, so I knew exactly what that it was not good. It wasn't good. You know the smell? No, I'm not even going to even gonna go into it. No. vomit. Now I'm going to. You know that anyway. <laughs> Stop yelling at my I'm sorry, friend. I'm deafening you. What is friend's name? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, friend. It's just friend. What's your name? <laughs> my name is. Oh, uh, I normally I go Say by Quinn online, but it's also Brandon. 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 I'm such a Canadian name. Brandon. Sorry. Oh my God, Brandon. Oh my God. You know kerosene? <laughs> You're not gonna know kerosene. <laughs> oh my god, laser beam! <laughs> I'm just gonna list off all of my Canadian friends in the off chance you know. So imagine, imagine. He found me by <laughs> watching newbie players on Twitch and he's like, oh, this person's talking to herself, this is sad, I'm gonna laugh, and then type in chat, and then for. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, did you want a fourth time? <laughs> Do I want a fourth What the fuck are you on about with Steve? A spider? What? There was a sp oh, the spider oh, called Steve. Steve! The spider! I killed Steve the spider. Are you sure? Did I not just let him out? Hell no. Wait, how did you kill Steve? When? Yeah, when? Nope. No, I wouldn't. Oh. <laughs> Wait, when was this? I smushed Steve. I don't remember him killing Steve. So that's why Steve disappeared! Poor Steve. What? <laughs> you just said poor Steve. In my defense, an afraid woman. <laughs> an afraid woman. I would have just picked him up and taken him outside. Well, if he was leaving his corner, then he did deserve to die. He was. He was on the wall above the stove, bro. Right? He was like, but yeah. Yeah, See, I told you it was above the fucking fridge, and you went, no, that's too big to be Steve! <laughs> right, because he's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> I would have let him out, but he might have come back, you know. Done you a favour. <laughs> no, because I panicked, because the, the oh, next time I gone. saw, there was no spider in the corner, and I'm yeah. like, where the fuck did he go? It's only an issue when they're no longer there. <laughs> <laughs> really bad now. <laughs> Why'd you tell me to kill him? Actually, that's valid. You should have known better. <laughs> you should have known better. Most we are bones. close now. You have proven to be no, a most valuable No, you said... Warrior. I said I there's only a little spider in there and it's Steve ways. above the fridge. You went, no, that's not Steve. It's too big to be Steve. And then you blamed the little spider and you went, did you kill Steve, you little shit? <laughs> They're like, no, Steve's in the corner. Would you perform the boldest part of the plan? Defeat Aji Saki and use the frozen force. You were the one that said. You got the assist on that kill. It's the mafia. Yo, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, 
<laughs> Andy, did you see the thing I tagged you in on Facebook with the spider and the <laughs> you, you tagged me in something with a spider? Yes. What are you going to tell them in three words? <sighs> Spider's dead. Coming and this look is at what that the mess. place looks like. What are you going to tell them in three words? <laughs> the spider's dead. Spider's dead. <laughs> good ass. Nah, it will be a, why is the place on fire? The spider's dead. The spider's dead. <laughs> Why did the building burn down? I've got the spider. I've got the spider. <laughs> <laughs> Darn, because I've done that so many times at work because there's been a fucking spider in the pissing stock room. It's a money spider. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Butterflies, but they're they're just flutter by. They don't flutter by. Butterflies just flutter by. Ah. Are you annoying? Anyway, this stream has been going on for seven hours now. So an hour and thirteen minutes you need to stay for another two minutes to make a short time. You need to. Oh, yeah, I'll be there in five. Ow! My mic! Oh my god, you <laughs> bit the mic! <laughs> I can't help it, it's delicious. Can you hear me? What were you talking about earlier? What did you yeah. <laughs> What? I was talking about you gaming this game. This game? Yeah. Why? Why not? No, you should. Oh. Is that. Oh, did they ask if I play it? Yes. <laughs> and you were like, not if I play it. Because he said that you stream as well because he says you talk a lot. I'm ADHD, but also, yeah, I do. Me too, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm on stream doing rap on every day. I also am a musician, so there's a lot of sound coming through my mic. Yeah, talk about the one from <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I should warn you. You're with two people with ADHD. We're now bouncing off each other, so I apologise. Well, that's a bit gay. You're gay. <laughs> Only a little bit. Well, quite a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that obvious? Um, it's what, sorry? <laughs> Is it that obvious? What do you mean, is it that obvious? It's what that obvious? Oh, that he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> that you're gay? <laughs> hey, well... He said, is it that obvious that you're gay? Is it that obvious that I'm gay? Yes. Oh. <laughs> you know me I put... <laughs> Yeah, because you look like you're going to fucking murder someone. No one talks to me though. <laughs> and I don't get murdered. <laughs> yeah. That's a Hansel and Meatball. What the fuck are you looking at? Chancel and Meatball. It's Chancel oh. and Meatball. Yeah. Papa the Poopy! By the way, I saw my bed. <laughs> I saw my bed. There's a lot of shit on it. <laughs> you saw your bed? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well I'm, I'm probably not going to put that in. I think I might. I won't lie. I might just put it at the end. Put them on the floor so they don't break out of the bags. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. I wish you could join me on this. Hmm. Also, I figured it out because when he tried calling me, um, it didn't work. And then I figured out why it wasn't working. I had the output on the wrong fucking thing. <laughs> oh, you bell end. <laughs> Proud of you. Right. So I was like, he could hear me, and like I could see the green outline when he talked, but I couldn't hear him. 
Yeah. And then I was checking my output about three fucking times, and then I realized, oh, my mm. output's wrong. Oh, that would be excellent it. work, wizard. Excellent Tell work, me wizard. I must stay and oh, rally our forces. Hit. Your That's help will not be first. forgotten, oh, wizard. You I have done the much to earn the trust the of the order of the Fang. In. Help. Go tell Shalak to rise in the entrance hall that I am once again ready to lead our fight. Woo! Level 17! Man's on a whole last king for sure. He just noticed. Oh, I noticed earlier. Look at them stomping. Wait, turn around. Do 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 in the, pa in, the, in the in the package still, it's still closed because I didn't. I don't like opening other people's packages, even I, though there's something in it for me. Yeah, and even, though, even though I told you to like four times, it's fine though. Don't worry, I will. Just Excellent. Go. You uh, found the great General Kaba and returned him to the fold. The <laughs> the sleep has no Shall ill effect on any of the order. You may very well defeat the Tuts for good this time. You do know that is <laughs> you're not even close to his voice. He may well have been the tots for the god this time. He's Scottish now. <laughs> what does he sound like? With General Kaba, the Order can plan strategy. But without like a person? warrior, oh, Kai Whoa, Amate that was the, friend. the Great. Friend. <laughs> Who are we? Sorry, I... <laughs> yes, I, gave, I gave him my headphones. Who are we? Where are you? Oh, I'm oh, so I guess sorry. I never said anything, that way you couldn't hear a thing. I just agree. listening to silence. I'm concerned what? that our Mander ally, Akko, has not what yet found say? Kai Amate. <laughs> Please go to the Grand Arena. Uh, I shouldn't have go. spoke. That way you've just been listening to silence. <laughs> he said he shouldn't have spoke, otherwise oh, you'd be listening to silence. <laughs> Kai Amate's ferocity in battle stirs the fight in all of us. He must be found. Oh, yeah. I, I think I'm level or 7 now. On... Screamed really loud. You what? Screamed loud. I, I should have just screamed really loud. Yeah. Wait, hang on. He's been screaming in my ear. Hang on. I'm just going to give him my headphones a second. Oh, dear. No. Hello. <laughs> no, I'm not that mean. I'm ready to be deafened. Oh, wait, what did you just say? N nothing. Nothing. Are you sure? Nothing. Deafen him. No. Why would you deafen? What? <laughs> I'm well, deafening him. him. Don't, don't well, go. Ah! My parents would be very concerned about why I'm screaming so loud. <laughs> because there's two cool people on the screen, bro. <laughs> 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 Thanks for laughing. <laughs> okay, love you, bye! <laughs> Give me an airbunt! <laughs> Hello, you're back with me now. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. You miss what? <laughs> I said, oh, thank goodness. Ah! <laughs> desk and it caught my skin. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Well, I just want to... <laughs> it's all better. Your hand is cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My hands are always cold. You know this about me. Oh, old hands. Yeah, is that pleasant? Yeah. Hell yeah. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I okay. have a very hot back. <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, you do. Right. 
tall midget. Are you not scared? I am a very tall midget. Leaving now. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. You can get the vape if you want. Oh yeah, I'll do that first. <laughs> <laughs> Are you yeah. a lawyer, young man? ADHD is real. Because a lawyer is what we need. <laughs> Definitely. Guy Amate, the greatest. He said the ADHD seal. is real. Landers aren't allowed in. I've got another idea. <laughs> he just yelled sorry about that. <laughs> Disguised as a gladiator, you wouldn't raise any suspicion. When you have it, return to me to complete your The more you guys talk, the more I lean towards Australian. <laughs> Almost as if. I'm he said here. the more we talk, the more he leans to Australian. The more he leans to Australian? Yeah. How? That he thinks we're Australian. Oh, I can assure you, Kent. No. <laughs> I am, in fact, not from Australia. <laughs> I am just a twat. <laughs> Out in the outback. Oh, I'm in the air bit. Throw another shrimp on the barbie. Look at these. Look at these. I'm looking at these. Well, you better look at them. Well, oh, originally it was England. Right now. Apparently that's oh, wrong. Yes. What was that last one? He said a po He said a What did you fucking say? <laughs> originally I thought it was England, but apparently I was wrong. He said, he said originally he thought it was England, but apparently it was wrong. Oh, yeah, Valen. <laughs> we thought it was England too, but we were also wrong. <laughs> sorry, that was gross. Let me do it again. <clears throat> I'm so fucking sorry. I'm actually, I'm actually, I am really sorry. Why did you do that directly into the microphone? I, I don't know, and that's why I'm sorry. He's 25. Stop it, shrink. <laughs> <laughs> He actually guessed my age spot on and then he went, Oh, why should enter the lottery? And I went, Do it! <laughs> oh my god, yeah! I'm gonna enter the lottery with the money I definitely have. <laughs> do, do you want this? Is mine. <laughs> take, oh. take off. Yeah, let me fucking try and open it first. Do you want me to open it for you? No, just oh, shut sorry, the door. <laughs> that door. That door, which is still open. You're still open. <laughs> Closing time, go to bed. Love isn't open. Door! Door! Wait, do it again, I want to do the harmony. Love isn't open. Door! Love isn't open. Door! Life could be And so my door is shut. What? And my door is shut. Your door shut? How the fuck do you open this? <laughs> adult! Oh, there we go. I, I, you shouted for an adult and I came. <laughs> that sounded strange, actually. No, I yelled adult and I managed to open the package. You forced yourself into adultry. Yes. What's this bottom bit? This squishy bit. Watch this. Is this the thing I'm going to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're gonna love this. Oh shit, it's my- Oh fuck, I was in a battle and I didn't even realise. The witch, there's the witch! Oh. Thank you. Oh, do, wait. Do you want- Have you asked your mother if you can stay for your birthday and we can go to the fucking pub? Um, that would be really cool, actually. I haven't asked that. Um, if you ask that, because you're, you're my and father's home. Okay. <laughs> yeah, try this one. Hmm, <coughs> that's nice. That Sorry, we're <laughs> eating vapes. Pink lemonade. Oh, Skittles. Skittles. Oh, I've got Skittles. What a good mainstream. Right, I need to hide this now. Um. I mean, I don't smoke. Wait, Those the disposable vapes. Um, the we charge them. Yeah, they are. It's like a type two charger. So the same one as my phone charger. Uh. Uh, yeah, but are they like five thousand puffs or something like that? Probably, yeah. Uh, ox bars or. Uh. I, I use a mod, so. I get bottles of juice. Nice. It's not as good, but it's still pretty good. The aftertaste is nice. 
Yeah. Um. Ah. I was gonna say something. What? With the words. Yeah. Try that one of it. How many fucking things do you have? These two are Ooh. Nice. Like uh, apple and melon or something like that? Ooh, melon. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> now with this gear I got you and the mark of the gladiator, you'll be able to march into the Coliseum and Oh yeah, no, it's not one of them. Oh no, those are sick. Yeah, I didn't think so. They're, um, they're the R and M tornadoes, the Rick and Morty ones. Hang on. Wait, you do ah. you puff yours while I take a picture and send it to Oh, are we filming? Yeah, bro. Wait, let me get more. Let me get more creative fucking hands on. Oh, yeah. I can video it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Come on, Give me passion. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Watch this. Yeah, I'm cool. Am I cool now? <laughs> right, there you go. You've Enjoy got. That. Have a have a video. Have a video. Enjoy the video. <coughs> You'll find the Coliseum oh, up ahead. When you enter, be sure to talk to Marakara, the arena master. Why do I look like that? What do you mean? Why do you look like why that? Why do I look like that? It's your fucking hood. Can I steal that? What? You hoodie? Absolutely not. This is the token merch that I own. <laughs> Fuck you. I have never seen a vape like that in my life. I, I would. When you You've so never see seen Kaya a vape like that? The order of the oh, fang seriously? needs him to rejoin the cause. Yeah, over here in Canada, all of our vape shops don't have anything like that. You're boring. What does that mean? He said his... The, the shops over in Canada don't have anything like that. I'll send you one, mate. I'll bring you one when I come visit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll bring you one when we go to Canada. Yeah, bro, I'm dragging you with me. Right, anyway. Nice to meet you. I shall speak to you later. I'm gonna I have the same you. keyboard as you. Right, love you <gasps> yes. Love you, bye. I love you. Bye. Okay. What? Love you, bye. I said love you, bye. I have the okay. same exact keyboard. Love you, bye. Thank you. I'm joking. I'm sorry. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> Get on that bed! Huh? Get on that bed and fuck! I mean, I mean... I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, I'm leaving now. Bye! Right. <laughs> oh wow, that's a lot of vapes. Nice looking though. Oi, do you want to see these vapes before you fuck off? My plan should work. I hope. Yo, well, Good well. luck, young wizard, and be careful. Oh, yo, you got some of them. I have the one on the right. The one on the right is really good. For that one. Mhm. Mm then why don't you fucking use it instead I... of spending more money? Because I should have. I should have replaced the coil ages ago, and now it's gross. But I had it like two years ago. It's fucking great. There's the, the one on the left. The is really place. Cool too. The place in Market Deep in um, the little cabin place. They're quite nice, and the woman and the woman and. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the woman in <laughs> My favourite, bro. The <laughs> well, Lang, <laughs> still. The woman and her dad run it, and they're really friendly, and that's where I got your vape for £5 from. Oh, I see. Yeah. I've never actually been in that. I'll take you to it when, whenever. Yeah, there's both there, sorry. Yeah, yeah, really. I knew it was there too, I just. I keep it. forgetting to. I make them for lunch. <laughs> And then I forget, and then... That's what I'm here for. Nothing. Oh, okay. I'll wash them up tomorrow. That's cool. If I... <laughs> <laughs> I get time before I... Alright. Um... How early am I? Alright. See you later, love you, bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, bye. Bye. See you later. Don't forget <laughs> to come back so we can watch our shit. I won't. I'll come up when we're done. Alright. Uh, bye. Bye, love you! <laughs> Right, now it's just us two again. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that! Alright, hang on. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Number one. <laughs>
I was gonna go pee, but I've already forgotten twice what I was doing in this quest. <laughs> <laughs> are you still in the game or are you sick of me? <laughs> no, I'm here. Oh my god, he just said puny foreigner. That is racist. <laughs> the first line this guy says is puny foreigner. You think you can take down whatever his name is? <laughs> Dude. Proving yourself first, so I, I love how you guys were commenting on, oh yeah, he's got cool vapes, but then you didn't pay attention to how I'm holding my vapes, or didn't even bother commenting. Wait, how are you holding your vape? With your feet? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I can't believe it. I didn't even notice till now, until you said it. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not how fun sit. <laughs> oh no. You made me giggle snort. No. A giggle Ladies snort. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we have a new contestant. God. Oh my god, right. Defeat what in the what? Oh, that. <laughs> I also have two more, but I broke both of them. Oh, well done. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Shit, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go key real quick, so... Don't let me die. I shouldn't have attacked them. <laughs> No, if I end up being roped into a battle after this. <coughs> yeah, I think PvP protection will be enabled. Alright, I'll be back in a minute.
Oh, you're back? I am back. Oh, God, someone else joined. Oh, no, my cables are tied. <clears throat> Sorry, I got, a, I got a drink as well. <laughs> <laughs> And now you're back up to full health. Thank you. Like nothing ever happened. Oh my god, you have so many life pips. Yeah. My conversion rate for life pips is extremely high. So like every turn I get one. Wow. I could fiddle with my um, video.
Wait, what did you type in the chat? Why are you so bad? You'd be surprised half the people in this game don't. You can add mine. It said there was it. Oh, why are you so bad? Wow. Not bad. But don't congratulate yourself just yet. Sakwe Okay, I think you got lucky. Sockwe rip. Oh. Prepare for something with a little more heat. My pet's now an adult. Ladies and gentlemen, for your enjoyment, we have a special duel. Foreigner wizard versus the wild sunbird. Cheer for the gladiators. Is you can way? watch them in action behind the bird gate. This way? No. Oh. Where the fucking bird will be. That's where the fucking bird is. <laughs> so, you are the new kid on the block? Maybe the block isn't big enough for the both of us. We'll see who stays and who goes. Ah! Really? That's the voice they gave the fucking bird? <laughs> what? Hello? I see the upgrade now in the corner. Did you play... Did you pay to unlock her? Uh, yes. This was ages ago. Ooh. Are you getting sleepy? I've only been awake for like five hours. <laughs> what do you mean you've only been awake five hours? Oh, wait, did you say not awake? I am sorry. No, I, I woke up at like one o'clock today. That's not bad. <laughs> That's usually the time well, I, I also got off anyway. work at like 7 a.m. You had work at 7 a.m.? No, I got off work at like 7 a.m. Oh. My bad. So are you done with work then till like tomorrow or some shit? Wednesday. Wednesday? Aw. Oh. I'm Thursday. <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, work Monday, Tuesday, off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it stays the same then. I thought I heard a cheer. Tell you what. If you What's that? A couple of those so you got like the same days, but... Stone Chin likes fresh spider eyes. It, like yes, and, and yeah, kinda. <laughs> yes, um, and kinda. <laughs> well, I'm off today and tomorrow, so I work. Wednesday, Thursday, off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, work Monday, Tuesday, and then I'm off Wednesday, Thursday. So every two weeks, it, the rotation starts, it, it resets, basically. Ah. Fair enough. I'm still fucking with my stream. 
I should be safer. Guess I can't do that. <laughs> oh well. Doesn't matter necessarily. Not bad, not bad. You may be able to bash the ice weavers, but you need more flair or style. Can't please the crowd. Okay, stone chip. Next up, ladies and gentlemen. Puny foreigner Jesus, versus she made crack me stone chin. Who will fall <laughs> first? Just watch behind the sun gate. Oh, itch. The arena master says that after I smash you, I get to have spider eyes. Mm, I like spider eyes. Okay, now crack smash you. That's the voice they gave him? Oh my god. Did you level up? <laughs> I swear you didn't have 9,000 health. Yeah. Almost 9,500. If I got a better ring and anthem, then I would be over 10,000. Wow. So when your pet's a mega, what does that do? So with pet training, um, every time you level it up until it, like teen, adult, ancient, epic, it unlocks a new talent. Mega is the last stage of unlocking talents. And then at Ultra, it's just max level and sometimes certain sockets require it to be like Ultra or certain tiers. Ah. So at Teen, this gave me plus six life damage. At Dull, gave me plus six universal. At Ancient, it gave me plus 10 defense. Uh, Epic gave me three more life damage, and the uh, Mega gave me the May Cast Fortify. And technically, that's what m people would consider as a failing on the pet. Yeah. Ultimately, the goal is to get as many damage stats as you can. Like, I think the best you can get is getting four damage stats and then a plus 10 uh, defense as well. So you can, like, I think it's, like, uh, plus 25% damage overall that you can increase your damage with a, with the pet. You, you can inspect me and then see what stats the pet gives me. Like, yours gives you plus one death damage right now, yeah. which is decent. And as you increase its strength, will, and power, that damage stat will go up higher. Okay. Pet breeding's a, it's a little complicated the way the math works out on it. Like, you need uh, your strength, will, and power to be as high as possible. They cap out at certain levels. My strength, 250. 
Will's 258 and Power's 241. You can get uh, lower or higher, but you want as okay, high as possible. I think you're about ready to move up to be able to increase your damage Probably as best as possible. Ford has an image to maintain. Cool. So before you get to take him on, you'll have to take on some sand stuff. Ultimately, I my best pet would be a plus three universal damage instead of that may cast fortify that sometimes happens. Hmm. Well, feeding my pet a bunch of shit from my backpack just increased its um, will. <laughs> and then you can, I don't know if you've been to the pet pavilion or not, but that's where you train your pets mostly. Yeah, I haven't gone there yet. I usually do that. Um, but for this, I'll do it. For this character, I'll do it when I'm not recording. Yeah, it's... It's a timely thing. Yeah. Because at the minute, I'm just going to save my coins um, to buy pet snacks rather than um, trying to do anything else with it. Just so I can level the... up my pet. Ultimately, you want to get a couch potato farm. That way you get snacks. You're guaranteed snacks every time you harvest a couch potato. And you can get really good snacks, basically. Yeah, but I'm not good at farming. It, it's not too, too bad. I know I just completely uh... forget about the plan and then it will be dead. <laughs> no, not the snowman. <laughs> Don't do me like that. Now I'm at half. Fuck you. Good. Yeah, one of the dogs is going crazy and going at one of the others. Not badly, but because all I could hear was like yelling of some sort. Yeah, my mom just yelling the name of one of my dogs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at this pet I have equipped. Is that a dinosaur? Oh. oh! Look at him! Oh, he's so cute. He's a really good healing pet. I'm trying to work on. That's too cute. I only have the cat that I got. Um... I only have the um, default black cat. Oh yeah, I've got well over a hundred pets. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna have to start deleting them. You can't delete your pets. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. They, they take up so many housing space. You can only have a max of 50 per uh, per house, but still, it's 50 decoration space that can be used towards something else. I mean, if I'll take some if you don't want to. I wish. 
That way you don't have to delete them. <laughs> and if you need it, you can just be like, yo, I need this one. <laughs> you think I will give up all the fame and glory without a fight? Ha! Huh? You don't even have the showmanship to be a star like me. Really? You yeah, I'm, I'm trying to turn this little pet into a healing pet that has all the may cast healings on it. Similar to the, like my Fortify that was casting for the minus 15 damage, but you could get like May Cast and Unicorn and Pixie and uh, Electric Charge and Life Bat. So pretty well every round your pet's healing you. Or your team. That's a good thing. But it's hard to do with this one because it this is an exclusive pet, so I can't find it in the kiosk. Wait. So I either have what to. Pet have you got? <laughs> is it still the dinosaur? Yeah, the leaf foot comes out with one of the packs, so you can't get it in the kiosk. You yeah. Ha you can either find someone else in the game that has one, or you can breed it with another pet that's in the kiosk or one of your own pets. I, I don't know if you can breed with one of your own pets, actually, but never tried. I've always wanted to breed a pet but with someone. It... <clears throat> What's that? I've always wanted to breed a pet with someone. I mean, we, we can right now if you want. It may cost gold. Alright, what's it done? Oh, once I'm either dead or I've done this, we can do that. <laughs> oh, don't get me. Oh, hi. <laughs> Both our pets are named Meatball. <laughs> hey, um, do you not get to name them? Because I didn't get to name this one. <laughs> you can. You can go into the bazaar, not the bazaar, into the shopping district, and then there's a shop that lets you change your appearance mm. so you can change your name you can change your pet name or you can change the color of your clothes oh, okay. because i tried that once and it wouldn't let me uh, i think to change your name it costs crowns i don't know about pet i can't remember it might be gold Yeah, I tried to change the name. I named this one Meatball, because I thought he kind of looked like a meatball. No. <laughs> yeah, mine got named Chancellor Meatball when I got it. <laughs> yeah, I took out the first name and changed it to Meatball. <laughs> I don't like having the, the two names. No. I, I find they never blend well. Like with my like with character, I either have one name, like the main name, or a first name and last name. I don't get the point of like the, all three of them. Yeah. Well, that's that's kind of why I just put Quinn as mine. I'm happy they had just the, the Quinn. Yeah. It's usually, it's what I go by on almost every single game. Yeah. Well, I couldn't put what I go by on, um, on games, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I noticed the other day... 
that guilds are now a thing. Yeah. That's uh, what the one of the titles under my name's for. Ah. So, do the you side have... ducks? Because or... I looked, and I couldn't find where you could join a guild. Because when you go to the guilds option, there isn't an option to join. There's only an option to create a guild. It's in Old Town next to the bazaar. Well, kind of uh, down the hill from the bazaar towards Cyclops Lane. Oh. Right, I'm going to get out of here and then place a... What's it point? Right, um... God, if I, uh... If I go home, it'll take me back to Ravenwood. I'm in Old Town now. Alright. I will be there shortly. <laughs> I mean, you can teleport. Yeah. I'm stuck in a loading screen. The only thing that sucks is when you leave a guild, you have to wait 13 days to join another. Okay, so where was it? Um, down the hill when you first come into the to Old Town. Old Town. Next to Sergeant Muldon. Ah. It's the social kiosk. Oh, that bit. It just told me you're online. <laughs> yeah, I think it happens when you switch realms. Guilds. And then I think you have to be a higher level to join one. Dungeons, Beast Moon, PvP, Derby, Pets, Housing, Hanging Out. <laughs> Because there is a guild house as well, kind of like a regular house, but for guilds, like a communal space where people can donate decorations and people that have the permissions can actually build with them. But once you donate something, you can't take it out. Yeah. You unlock different areas, but what sucks is after you get the... the necessary materials to unlock an area in the guild house you need 10 people online to come uh cast a cantrip spell to be able to unlock it okay so i've been constantly joining and leaving guilds to be able to try and find a, a guild that actually has housing unlocked yeah Hi, I'm in here now. <laughs> I'm just... selling some stuff. Can't use that. 
Anything you can't sell in the bazaar, you do have to quick sell it from your inventory, though. Yeah. I have 10,000 coins. Noise. I've only got 18,000 right now. I have 11,000 now. Every time I come to the bazaar, I just I s make sure I go to the decorations and go to each tab and change everything to whatever there's only one of in the bazaar. <laughs> Trying to find everything that's rare. I'm so itchy. Well, well, Blame the crabs. What? <laughs> Said blame the crabs. <laughs> what were we gonna do? Well, I don't know. Oh yeah, the pet thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why didn't I just teleport to the fucking comments? That would have been fucking quicker. Actually, I was going to tell you you should port to me because I have a bunch of pets in my house that you could choose from if you want a specific one. Oh, you should. <laughs> Yes. Like my, the pet I'm currently using is better for life wizards because it gives me a life uh, a life blade. Alright. I'll teleport to you. Boink. Yes. Fuck's sake. <laughs> there we go. Uh. Pardon me. Hello. Not very ladylike. Ha! <laughs> Not a lady, you said that. <gasps> You've got the ravens. What is this one over here? The one with the bat wings. Um, oh. Let's see here. Like the one I just... No, not that one. The one I just moved over here. What's over here? <laughs> Where I'm standing. Yeah, this one. Okay. 
Uh, where? I've got a bunch in my inventory. I'm just trying to find it. <laughs> oh, uh, harpy. It gives a at least that baby. It gives a elemental trap. So a death. Uh, trap and myth trap and life trap. Okay. What do the ravens do? Nothing. Oh, the ravens. Might down? give a spell at a, like a, a later. Like I can only see what's currently unlocked. Some uh, pets give multiple spells. Like the dinosaur gives three, but I've only got two that I can see right now. Right. The other one comes at a later date. Ooh, what about this red and black hellhound? <laughs> oh. It gives a dispel fire. Or no, a, a minus 40 to all enemies. Minus 40% accuracy to all enemies. What about uh, this blood <laughs> lady Oriole <laughs> that's in this crystal? That's in the crystal? Yeah. This one. Or... Where? Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, like the this one right here yeah. with the sword. Yeah. I wish her wings were a mount. Look at them blood wings. <laughs> Gives a fire. Um, uh, prism, so it converts fire to ice. Huh? Well, to be fair, you can pick. I mean, and... it's ultimately really up to you. <laughs> hmm. I also have. A couple others and a few other houses. I'm just gonna go see what's in them. Right. I'm gonna go to the red barn first. I'm just gonna move down a level to let my game breathe. <laughs> yeah. That's just mostly a storage house at this point. If you want to teleport to me, there's a bunch of other different pets here, too. Uh, oh, I forgot about this mount. I got a drake or a dragon mount, too. <laughs> I just got greeted by fucking starfish and a seal. Uh, They're pets, by the way. They're huge! <laughs> yeah, I, I supersized them. There's also the golden goose. Even the scorpion? Yeah. And then inside the barn, there's a whole bunch. Sorry, I found your bones in your basement. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I spent a whole bunch of time decorating this house. Okay, Inside's yeah. ten times better. There's a big moose in the lobby. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> All I see... All I see are boxes and a giant moose and a giant gnome. 
Yeah, they're they're pets. I just supersize them. Can you still use them as pets? Oh yeah, yeah. As soon as you pick them up, they turn back to the same size as what we have equipped. Okay. I've got a. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I've got a frog too in here. Uh, at the minute. This is my chef. At the minute, everything's still loading. <laughs> I can see a painting on a table. Yeah, I've got the painting. Well, it depends which painting. There's three in here. Uh, the one with the earth scenery. <laughs> ah. You have a dungeon? Yeah, gauntlets. Ooh. The spiral gauntlet cup. This one's Wisteria themed. This one's Grizzleheim themed. And then I've also got the Mushu themed one too. Can't remember what it's called. Uh, so are these like permanent dungeons then? Yep. Yeah. Oh. The Wisteria one's good for XP for the first couple times, and then it gives energy gear. Hmm. Uh, the Mushu one gives bobbleheads for housing items, and then there's Grizzleheim. I can't remember what it gives. I think it gives some mega snacks. And well, the XP won't be stuff. good for me. <laughs> oh, it's snowing! Yeah, snow globe. It's snowing in here. Oh, there's a tiny. Yeah, I had this bird. set up for Christmas. Very festive. Yeah, I had a Christmas tree in the corner and a whole bunch of presents at one point. But the presents were taking up too much space. Where does your portal lead to? Downstairs where the gauntlets are. Oh. We even got the mini games like Hosha Motion and Dueling Diegos and oh. Sorcery Stones. I didn't even think that was a thing. Yeah, you can get them for crowns. I accidentally clicked X. And instead of buying your potions for gold, you can play the mini games and earn potions as well. Like refill them. Yeah. Wow. What is oh. this? <laughs> what is the... This is my favorite room. Where'd you go? I don't know if it's over oh, yeah. here. I don't know if you got your sound on, but yeah. That's cool. Oh, I can. Yeah, you, you can play them, too. <laughs> That's for uh, why they they're, they all play sound. I've got them set up for loops. Sorry, right, I'll stop laughing. <laughs> play the drums, piano, trumpet, all of them. Oh, hell yeah. Except, uh, which one is it? There's something here that you can't play. I just left it here for decoration, I think. I don't remember. Alright. <laughs> A 
playable instrument and I'm instantly gone. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy them in the crown shop. Oh, damn. They're like 20k each. Oh, damn. What the fuck is that? Why did you oh, have yeah, a there's banana a spider? spider? Why don't you have a banana spider? <laughs> I mean... Okay... Um... Oh, it's moving to me. Bye. <laughs> yeah. And, and, actu and actually, he's a plantain spider. Oh, a plantain spider? I'm sorry. But <laughs> it's yeah. creeping me out. <laughs> How the fuck do you get down that way? <laughs> no? Who's this cat? Bathroom. Bitch? Why'd you have a cat lady in here? <laughs> That's my escort. Oh, yeah, escort, okay. Why is she in the bathroom and not the bedroom? Well, she's gotta get ready first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I spent like two plus milk gold on this place. A lot of these decorations, like, they don't come up very often in the bazaar, so they're worth a lot to be able to buy them originally. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, it took me, like, a solid day to set up all this castle magic for the, for the instruments. Wow. Right. I will meet you at the pet thing. So you don't care what I get? Nah. It's gonna be a mystery. I still hear your train, even though I'm in the loading screen. Oh, I just spawned in. <laughs> into the comments and the person next to me or inside of me has a D that Ollie's dragon hmm. so like it has like the dragon scales effect with like gold and it's black you can buy this item from the following Dean Luki pet card in contact to us in Novaris. You may get it. I'm being that the that Ollie the Destroyer in Prolorn Pagan in Polaris. Well, I can't get to Polaris, so fuck you. <laughs> I don't think I even have Polaris unlocked yet. Ah. Could be wrong. I don't remember all the worlds I have. Mood. Um. Right. Trying to decide what to get. Okay, well, while you're deciding, I'm just gonna quickly shoot my pet out of a cannon. A few times. <laughs> Pop. Ah, oh, shit, that's too high. There we go. Do you have a certain pet game that you go on? Uh, I think it was the one you were playing. The cat. But <laughs> the Grumpy Gobblers. <laughs> 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 I 
I've that's played it so enough funny. that I don't actually have to play it anymore. I can I can just press skip game and just feed my pet snacks. Wow. I think you have to play it 50 times or more. <laughs> um. Ow. Now. Oh, you're in the can again. Yeah. I started playing that one now. <laughs> I prefer the grumpy gobblers. I find it fun knocking over towers. <laughs> I like the cannon one. Hitting a target. Yeah. It's easier. <laughs> I find it almost the exact same as the Grumpy Gobblers. <laughs> the other ones I just don't bother. Yeah. Like, I used to um, always do the one where you're playing as your pet, trying to get through an obstacle course. Oh yeah. But I don't do that one anymore because after oh. playing it for so long, I got annoyed. <laughs> so it kept it kept glitching and knocking me off when I was nowhere near it. Oh. Shit, that's too high. That's too low! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hey, I got a bullseye! <laughs> and again! I... To be quite honest, I think the best pet for you would probably be Gloomy Eye. Be the what? Well, there's a pet called Gloomy Eye. Gloomy Eye? And it eye. gives a plus... Yeah, it gives a Death Blade, a Petrify spell, and then there's an AoE Frog spell. Kind of similar to the... A myth frog, where it spills its guts. <laughs> the oh. <laughs> nope. <Go on. laughs> that sounds good, though. Yeah, you you can easily hatch with hatch one in a Kia. But it'll cost you like 100k gold to do it in the kiosk. Where would I get it? What's that? Where would I get it from? The, the pet? Yeah. Well, you have to hatch it because it's a hybrid pet. And to be able to get it, you either have to hatch a Gulcher with the Wandering Eye, or you'd have to breed with it in a kiosk. <laughs> Are you still playing? Sorry? Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, I'm going in. My, my, my brain is just... <clears throat> Right now. Wow, there's a lot of people in here. Wow. Okay. 
There's a lot of people in the hatchery. <laughs> There's always a shit ton of people. Uh, uh, hi. <laughs> right, what do we do? <laughs> um, I'm just they seeing. have a dragon Which one with would... stars and moons on it. What the fuck? Bro. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, they have a Pegasus. That's so cute. Sorry. <laughs> I'm being distracted by the pets. <laughs> I am 1011 away from my quest <laughs> where I need to be. Oh, I just found the banana spider. <laughs> yeah, it's in the crown shop, I'm guessing you're looking at. Yeah. Excuse me. A <laughs> pet peeve. <laughs> Why isn't there any deaf pets like all my days? Yeah. I mean, you can look through the kiosk and see what kind of pet there are, uh. and then try and aim for one. I, that's what I normally do, is go to the kiosk and train one when I get 100k gold, but... I can't remember how much it costs to be able for us to train one. But if you knew which pet, I can make sure it's an adult so I can actually breed it with you. You know the squirrel on your spell attack? Yeah, there's a pet of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. There's quite a few. Like, I want to get the panda cubs as well. Or the bunnies. Yes, the bunnies. Oh my god, the iron ram. Yes. The Iron Ram. That's gotta be my favorite so far. I like the Wolfhound. It, it, like, the Stormhound? It, it, it's... No, Wolfhound. Wolfhound. Well, I guess it is a storm. But... <gasps> the Fennec Fox! Oh my god, that is so cute! I like the flying squirrel. Oh, you can have a baby Fusa. Oh, I'd get that and name it King Julian. <laughs> it's like a robot squirrel or cat. Right. Or a buddy bot. Where'd you go? <laughs> Are oh, you over there? All right. All right. Click. Wow. So, is it here that we do it, or over here? Yeah. <laughs> so I like. Do you know which 
pet you ideally would have wanted. Because I have to make sure it's an adult pet. Go for anything, dude. <laughs> I'm just here to experiment at this point. Okay. Um... Here. Meeple the meatball. The meatballs. The meatballs are gonna father a child. Hatch. <laughs> What does it cost to do this one for you? Is it crowns? Uh, Hatch a new pet for 3750 I don't have 3000 That's crowns? Gold. Gold? You don't have 3000 gold? What does this one cost you? Uh, the same. Like, it says you can't afford it? Aww. Oh my god, I want to have a look at this. Okay. It'll be an egg. What kind of egg is it? Um, uh, it's the uh, <laughs> um, it's white and then it fades to brown. Yeah, the the name of it. Like when you hover over it, it like your pet says it's a mega or adult or whatever. Yours is an egg of what kind of egg? Uh, hang on, let me go to pet time. Uh, it just says, um, necromatic egg. Okay, that's, that's your same pet, unfortunately. But <laughs> you can tell, like, I know for a fact the pet I lent you the name of the egg is a life bloom egg. A life bloom, okay. Yeah, so there's a certain chance that you get your pet back or you get the other person's pet. Oh. That's why when you start, like when I use my pet and I start breeding with others, since I can't get this pet in the kiosk, there's a good chance I won't get my pet back. I'll, I'll just get a different pet. I mean, I still That's have... That's kind of what I mean by... Hmm? I, I still have my black cat. <laughs> yeah, you will. You'll just get... You'll have another black cat. Uh... After that, hey, egg hatches. Like if, you, if you breed... Like, if I bred with another... Um, whatever... Another leaf foot, I'm 100% chance getting a leaf foot pet. I breed with a lively opossum, which is my other pet. And there is a like one in some chance that I'll get the pet that I'm breeding with. Ah. It's either like a one in two, or it could be like as shitty as like a one in ten, or even more sometimes. Okay. There's a whole bunch of threads online that involve uh, pet breeding. They'll tell you exactly what the odds are when you breed each pet with each kind. Fair enough. Where'd you go? Um, I'm shooting at goblins. <laughs> oh my. And I missed. 
Are you still streaming? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, what is this, eight hours now? Uh, eight hours, 42 minutes. Jesus. <laughs> I kind of forgot and then I was like, oh shit, yeah. Right, I'm over here. I'm by the water fountain. Uh. What's up? <laughs> yeah, I, I highly recommend you use this kiosk over here and what kiosk? Browse a pet. Oh, you're over there. It's the easiest way. Only thing that sucks is it costs 100k no matter what allow you breed in -person with. Allow in-person hatching. If you allow in-person hatching, then when a player wants to hatch with one of your pets in the kiosk, you'll be asked if you would like to be teleported to the hatchery. Yeah, okay. Browse. Death. Is it an acid rain cloud? Oh! 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 Uh, what? The arc fiend. I am. Oh, the red Grim Reaper? Yeah, the red Grim Reaper. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, it gives you a spell that does 575 damage. For death. <laughs> the avenged fossil, that is cute. The black cat. Spider. The blue ghost. <gasps> Bone dragon! I used to have this mount in my old account and like my old my very first account and then I forgot the email and password to it. And I'm so very annoyed because I can never find that fucking mount again and I really love that mount. <laughs> <laughs> I want the bone dragon now. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like Google how to get the bone dragon mount back. How to get the bone dragon mount? Because I brought it with crowns. Um. And then I completely forgot uh, the password and um. How do I get the bone dragon? <laughs> I've run the Wizard City and crossed every event, dungeon, 30 times, and gotten crown gear, drops, I'm pretty sure I'm in from doing it right. Character level, I have no level 5 dragon ears, assailing humans. Fuck's sake. I'm... Take on the bones from the Lost Pages event. Oh, for f fuck's sake. There's an origami crane pet. An origami crane pet? Oh my god. I really want the bone dragon.
Ooh, a dark crown. That looks cool. I need to stop looking at these. I'm just gonna make myself sad. <laughs> you can breed one for 100k gold. How? What's that? Breed what? One of these pets. How? So just double click on one of the the names when you're scrolling down. Oh, the chaos cat. I don't have enough. Oh. What? Okay. Right. Um. Do you do any of like the Lost Pages events? The Lost Pages events? Yeah. Because where I've where I've googled, that's where it says the Bone Dragon Mount is. So it would be whenever the event starts on the events tab. I don't know when that is, but have you ever, have you been doing like the spring scroll of fortune and stuff? No. Cause I don't know how. Um. <gasps> Tier two, you get I do... an ostrich that looks a grim wasteland emir. Seven days. Seven. But yeah, it, that that tab where you see the spring scroll fortune, that's where the event would uh, be released. Right now, it's just the beast moon one, which ends shortly, ish. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, every time they, 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 they release events like once a week for sure. Sometimes it's every couple days or so. And you can also see the whenever they re release one, it's on the Wizard 101 launcher too, advertising I it. I don't, I don't know. know when it'll come out. Uh, well, if you know, if you know when or if you're on when it's doing it, would you, would you let me know? <laughs> yeah. Because I really want that mount back. <laughs> I am so very annoyed with myself. I have tried everything under the sun to try and get that fucking account back. Just so I can have that mount. <laughs> because it's my favourite mount. I'm so annoyed with myself as well, because I spent my money on it. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, you don't look like a real warrior, but you sure can deliver. The crowd would go wild for someone like you. The crowd would have loved you, taking on all our top guys. Now is no time to slow down. I'll get a tenure ready while you take well, off. Well, unfortunately, I gotta get off and eat dinner. Get but I'll be back on a little bit later, for sure. Alright. 
<laughs> I'll probably still be here. <laughs> <laughs> Will you? Probably. <laughs> I mean, I've Still been streaming. I've been doing this for almost nine hours now. Going for a 24 hour stream. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, well, time to go get some pierogies. Cool, cool. What? Pierogies. What is that? That sounds interesting. Uh, it's like a stuffed uh, uh, noodle kind of thing. I don't know, they're pierogies. Pierogies! Sorry. I don't know how to describe something. But, <laughs> uh, uh, and when in doubt... Google. Google is always your best friend. When in doubt, Google it out. <laughs> the way they describe it is a filled dumpling. A filled dumpling, alright. <laughs> yeah. Well, enjoy your pierogi. Oh, yes. Should be delicious. <laughs> <sighs> and now it's back to just me. All right. Um. I'll do that one first.
I'm gonna just level up my pet a bit more. And then I'm probably gonna call it. <laughs> it's been almost nine fucking hours. I can I'll take that. Nine hours, two minutes. Good God. Okay. 
Right. I'm gonna end my stream here. And I'm just gonna keep grinding. Um. On the pet and some coins. Yeah. I'll probably continue this again tomorrow. But yeah. Guitar. Guitar? Good fuck. <laughs> oh god, right. Till tomorrow.